Hello. Hello. How are we doing today? Good to see you all out here. Why do I feel like my webcam got moved over? I don't know. That feels like I'm off to the side a little bit. Maybe there? Maybe there? I don't know. How's it going, everybody? Good to see you all here. Woo! How's it going, people? Sorry for like the... We are three hours late today. Three hours late. Ago, I, I think. Was close to closing MC for the last time, and oh. I stumbled upon your how to stay inspired video on. You've been such a massive source of inspiration, and I love the content you put out. Tizen, also three moth badge woot woot. Oh my gosh! Maybe I should start this stream three months late more often. Everybody, whoa, Waffle Shark! Thanks so very much for the three month resub. I'm glad I was able to rekindle that Minecraft love over there, dude. Wolfie Boy, thanks so much for the three month resub. Also, Hardcore Series is amazing, and you're amazing. And Wolfie Boy, you're amazing. Thanks so much, Hello, dude. And Cheesy with. Nugget, love the haircut. With the 200 bitties, thank you very much. I just got my haircut this morning, everybody. Feeling quite fresh and all that cool stuff. Whatever you want to say here, and I don't know. Uh, Illitas, thanks so much for the eight month resub. Two slash three RDS of a year. Two slash three RDS of a year. Wow, poggers. <laughs> And Alex Park with the 500 biddies, dude. Thank you so very much. Good to see you all out here today, folks. How we doing? Happy Monday. This is the last stream before I go out of town. So we're going to, this is only stream this week. So everybody who's here, you're making it. You're, you got the stream. You got it. I'm out of town on Wednesday and Friday. So this is it. This is the stream we get for the week. I'm so sorry. Then we'll have normal streams next week. Actually, normal streams next week, but we'll be Monday and Wednesday. And then the Friday stream of next week is going to be something kind of fun and different. So keep that, keep up for that one. one eared Man, thanks so much for the five-month resub, dude. And Alex Park, thanks so very much for the five gift subs, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, man. It's good to see you around again. Good to see you. Long stream? <laughs> I am so far behind. Oh, my God. I am so far behind getting work done to be able to leave on time and you guys get all the videos and everything i've got hardcore videos for tomorrow and thursday are recorded i'm almost done with the one for next tuesday but i still have to do the x life that's the series yep that's the other series i do i still got to get that one done for saturday so it's all good this is going to be probably like a two hour stream two and a half hour stream today so we'll see how we can do for that I want to work on the hardcore base a little bit. I have like a little like tag thing on the inside of the shirt. It's a brand new shirt. Ah, oh, there it is. Haha, I got it. I hate when like sometimes you get a new shirt and they have like the little like hairs, like the threads are kind of like poking out and they like stab you in the neck if you ever move in a weird way. Yeah, I had that right now. It was not, not fun. My hair is so short. Oh my God, look at that. It's so short. Wow, I have like a little like white spot up there. Oh, that's fun. I definitely have, I don't think y'all can see it, but like right back in here, I got a full on gray spot there. Isn't that fun? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. How are we doing today, folks? How's your Halloween? It was, um, it was fantastic. Halloween was everything I could have absolutely hoped for and more because I crawled in bed at 845 and I was asleep by 915. 9.30. 9.15, 9.30, I was dead asleep. It was great. I slept like a rock that night. Oh my gosh, I got the best sleep I've had in a long time on Halloween. And I went to bed at like 9.30 and I woke up at like 8 o'clock the next day. And because of daylight savings, I basically got like 12 hours of sleep. And it was great. I don't know about you all, but I couldn't have asked for anything better than that one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Foxy, thanks so very much for the five gift subs as well. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so very much. You seem so energetic today. It's been, uh, this is me after I'm at wit's end here, everybody. <laughs> I've been trying so hard to get everything done and just do things and be, and just be like on top of everything for the week. And oh my God, I'm <laughs> just like, woo! Oh man, I'm three years older than you and you seem, you're such an old man. Hey now, hey now, I'm young at heart. No, I'm, I'm not young at heart. It, no, I don't know. I'm old, I'm old at heart. That's what it is. I'm an old soul, right? That's that's what they say. 
in old soul i'm looking at the hardcore world and it's definitely nighttime in here yeah please avoid the politics folks but uh on that uh go vote if you live in the u.s and you are of voting age you have not voted yet you got through the end of the day tomorrow you better go do it that's all i'm saying but yeah we don't need any big political discussions in here we're here to play some hardcore minecraft are we ready there we go well, let's do it shall we jump into the minecraft for the day over here i'm gonna fix this thing what are we drinking today we are rocking the grape the invisible space drink of the grapefruit melon celsius it's quite good this one's quite tasty of them this is probably one of my favorite flares flavors flares I don't like flares. Why would I like a flare? I don't want to flay things. Cat is sleeping on my legs and and have fallen asleep, so I don't want to move. Well, uh, Lindley, I guess you're here for the whole stream, aren't you? <laughs> What's up, Shattered Seraph? How you doing? I still have to try those. You can get them on Amazon for pretty cheap, to be honest. We get we get like a 12 pack for like 24 bucks, so it's like two bucks per each, if you think about it and yeah so it's like two dollars per each and these are like really good energy drinks as far as like keeping me awake and i don't feel like a crash afterwards which is nice coda would not be a good president nobody wants coda as a president that's just yeah <laughs> yeah the green screen technology does not want me to promote anything apparently okay that's supposed to be cheap <laughs> when you compare it to like a monster that's like four dollars a thing yeah it's pretty cheap and, or a coffee that's like $5 a coffee. Uh, GTG rebound, I'm sorry, but you should go vote. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. If you haven't voted yet and you're getting annoyed by it, you should probably go vote if you live in the US. Uh, if you've already have voted, I'm sorry, they'll be gone at the end of the day tomorrow. Magically holding air. Look at me. I'm holding Minecraft, everybody. Woo, look, I'm holding an andesite block. Oh, and now a dark oak block. Oh. <laughs> All right, now, um, yeah, I swear I'm okay. So, today, 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 streaming things, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, we use, my girlfriend drinks French press coffee and all that stuff. I've gotten very good at brewing coffee, even though I don't like the taste of it. Flip's gone mad. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Building tips video soon. So, uh, on that one, on the building tips video here, uh, we're just chilling today. This is a, we're just, we'll get to the things here soon, but I'm just in, like, I'm talking and not doing anything productive mood here. So y'all got to deal with that one. Sound good? Sounds good. Cool. Um, for when I'm out of town, I was thinking of some fun ideas for videos I could do that I re could record on a quicker basis than I record my typical videos because typical video takes me about 10 to 12 hours to do if i do that and i do that there's no way i can do enough videos to get through the whole thing so i'm thinking for when i'm out of town and everything like that i want to do a video Enjoy on the time off hope you get to relax and forget about deadlines for a while eggs thank you so much for the thousand biddies dude i'm 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 think there's gonna be i'm gonna skip out on one of the videos of the week just to call it good there but thank you so very much for the biddies i am definitely looking forward to vacation anyways i'm gonna do a video folks on how i build things not me building a specific thing like not i'm not gonna do a tutorial on how to build this house i'm not gonna do a tutorial on this thing but I'm gonna do a video on how I come up with the concept for making this house. And I think that's gonna be cool. I hope it's gonna work out well. So keep an eye out for that one here in the near future. Just want you to know that there will be a video coming on basically how I build things. So like how I came up with the idea for this house, how I came up with the idea for that structure, how I came up with the design for this house up here. And I think it'd be really cool. Uh, but thank you everybody so much for joining in on the hype train 15 subs and 1700 biddies already today y'all are amazing thank you so very much and uh strawberry seal thanks for the biddies as well cool thanks sweet folks let's do it stay safe fail whip i will i will <laughs> alex spark is like hey i, I came to this one stream that stream it is mine today <laughs> 
Uh, Tech Kitty, thanks so much for the biddies, but Outspark, thanks so much for the 500 poggers, dude. I appreciate that. So, the plan for today's stream is I want to fix this. I want to fix this thing down here. I think it'd be really cool to get this thing all readied and prettied up. And so we're going to bring some cobblestone down here. We're going to kind of do all this and everything. Where's the walking animation? I got rid of it. I, I've, so I've been playing Outer Worlds recently. It's a game on Steam. If you only play family friendly games, don't play it. Don't even think about playing it. It is not family friendly in the slightest. Imagine if Fallout, like Fallout met like just decided that it was gonna swear and do all of like this gruesome content. Like Fallout like is like here and then like, so like Minecraft's back here, right? Then you have like the Fallout games that are right here. The Outer Worlds is like right there. Like as far as like family friendliness. So you got Minecraft over here, family friendly. You got like the Fallout series like halfway through maybe. And then you get like, woo. Yeah, it's rated R, rated R Space Cowboys. <laughs> So if you, uh, if those are the types of things that you avoid, don't play the game, but I will say I've been playing it a bunch and I realized that after I turned off the view bobbing inside the game, my accuracy for killing things in the game got like a million times better because like I wasn't having this little sway thing going on the whole time. So I tried removing it in Minecraft for a little while and I got I was instantly like better at hitting shots with a bow. I was instantly better at doing all those things just simply by turning off view bobbing. That was messing with my brain so much with the little side steps and everything like that. So I turned it off and now I have been really good at shooting things in Minecraft <laughs> with like a bow and arrow and like I'm not missing gas. I've been making more parkour jumps, which I know is surprising to say, but it's a true statement. So I think I'm gonna play without view bobbing for a little while and just see how it goes. See if it actually makes me better at those games. Worse than Dark Souls? Um, it's more gruesome than Dark Souls in certain ways. Definitely more gruesome than Dark Souls. Uh, so what I turned off is a very slight thing, but I can show y'all here real fast. So you see how the shovel here is not moving left and right? You see how that? Like everything's very consistent and smooth right throughout here. Then I can turn on this setting here called view bobbing. Now watch this. Do you see how the screen kind of shakes and stutters a little bit like that? And then we turn it off and then it's not there. It's like you're gliding and it makes it so much easier to be accurate and everything like that. So flip his bow gun now. Yeah. And next time, next time we get in there. Outer Worlds has corporate yeah, fraud and stuff like that, but it like, it's more the it's more the interactions between you and the NPCs that's really bad. <laughs> As I am having a fantastic time playing the game. I'm just wanting to give a warning before the the 12 year olds in the chat go to their parents and be like, Mom, I wanna play this new game I heard Flip talking about on stream. It's great. It's called The Outer Worlds. Can I get it? This big content creator that I follow says it's a fantastic game. So obviously I should be able to get it. And then I, then they're going to come and yell at me being like, why did you tell me my kid could get this game? They have sworn a hundred times in the first 10 minutes that my kid's been playing it. I'm just like, oh, I'm me, man. What's going on, fam? Good to see you. Lady Katza, thanks so much for the 200 biddies. I missed that one. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Love your generic 12 year old voice. <laughs> it's all good. How's it going, fam? Good to see you. Yeah, stream was uh, very late today. I've been doing too many things in my life, but I'm almost done with things. I think what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna do a little bit of cobblestone action and we're gonna do, go get some right now. We'll do some mossy cobblestone, some cobblestone, and maybe work in some andesite later on. I have, you have a sailor's mouth. Um, I really do too when I'm not streaming. <laughs> things and stuff, always much things and stuff, dude, for real. Um, yeah though yeah it's i it's really i can't even hide it at all uh when i'm not streaming view bobbing off looks awful i it takes some getting used to but i actually really like it i was looking at a lot of youtubers there's a lot of youtubers out there who have view bobbing off if you think about it there's a lot of people that don't play with view bobbing on like i know gem doesn't i think um a few of the hermits don't um i know a lot of the pvp like mini game players turn view bobbing off 
I don't know. I'm going to try it for a little while and see if I enjoy it or not. We'll s I'm not committed to either way right now, but I just wanted to see how it goes. It makes things a lot smoother. And I think in a YouTube video where YouTube already compresses things and distorts it a little bit based on that, I think it's going to make the quality of the video better because there's less movement going on today. Like there's less things that need to be processed on the YouTube side. So I think it's going to make it a little smoother. I just figure out how to turn off view bobbing in real life. Exactly. Exactly. Just got back. What is Flip talking about? Um, we were talking about view bobbing. Before that, we we're talking about a game called Outer Worlds. Yeah. I would pay for the not so family friendly stream from Whip. <laughs> uh, I was like, I was working with Joel on something this morning uh, on X Life. And we were just talking in the background. And I just realized that like we had, we started recording and we were both just like, family friendly and the recording everything like that and we stopped the recording we we're just chatting while we we're working on building something and literally within like 15 seconds maybe i was just like blah 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 <laughs> just like wow i really have trained my brain to creator mode versus not creator mode. <laughs> that's gonna be a little mob spawning pit back there I think I'm gonna throw a nice little torchy guy right over here so you don't have to light it up inside there and then we don't have to worry about mobs in there either. It'll be great, I swear. So I'm thinking uh, we're just gonna make this look really nice down here. Like back in this area, we can have some cobblestone and stiff leading its way up here. So I'm thinking like we can do like a boop and a boop. And then these, will we'll come back and fix stuff later to make it look like air pockets and things are in this area um and then we could do like this and bam and bam and i'm just trying to get the shape in for now i guess we could say but it's all good what are we doing today we're working on the riverbed for now i want to out the riverbed really has bothered me for a bit it's really bothered me, especially after, you know, we've built the tunnel throughout here. So I want to come through and just fix up the areas along the edge of the tunnel. And once we do that, that'll be sweet. And then if we need something else after that, I got a big old digging project I want to start doing. So that's going to be fun. Shattered Surf, thanks so much for the 30 biddies. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Went into downtown Seattle today for a little bit to get my hair cut. Went and stopped at the old barber shop for a bit. Talked to my barber for a while, and then while I was getting my hair cut, it was nice to catch up with him. He's a cool dude. And then after that, just came home and been working on Minecraft and stuff all afternoon. And been so busy. I'm done with being busy, everybody. I'm done. I give up on being busy. <laughs> this is, this is, I think this is going to be the last time when I'm like, going out of town i'm like you know what i just need to get all my videos done like i think i'm trying to like mentally convince myself that it's okay to not go like psycho crazy and like have all the videos done ever so I i'm trying to like mentally convince myself that i'm like you know what? we can take a breather like if i don't want to do a video i can take a little bit of a breather moment and not do a video it's fine it's what vacation's for vacation doesn't mean the three weeks prior is crazy crunch time it's vacation <laughs> So I'm trying to be better about that. I'm like, I'm like the type of person where like, when I worked for a company, like before I did YouTube full time, I was very much like, you know what? I have PTO days. I'm maxing out every single PTO day I could possibly have. It's paid time off. It's there for a reason. I should use it because I'm getting paid to take it. Blah, 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 blah. And now with YouTube, I'm just like, if I take time off, I don't get paid. Blah, 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 blah. Where are you vacationing at? Uh, so on Wednesday, I'm headed down to California because my best friend from college is getting married. So we got, we're got we down there for the wedding. Um, and then the weekend after, then I'm home for next week. I'll be home doing the usual stuff. That'll be a normal week. But then after that, um, after that one, we are headed off to Hawaii for a few days. We're, we're going, we got to, we're staying at a family friend's place on Maui for a week. And he has a home right on the beach in Maui. So we're going to just go and just chill. We're just going to chill on the beach and do that for a while. I'm so excited. Have not went to the end yet. Ender chest you can make, which is an uh, eye of ender and obsidian. 
And uh, we built a gold farm on stream last Friday. So if anybody's wondering where the gold came from, it was from the farm that we built on stream. It'll be in a video next week. I've been pre-recording like crazy. Or sorry, it'll be, in, it'll be in Thursday's video this week, actually, now that I think about it. 8 Trigram, thanks so much for the higher biddies. Glad you joined X-Life because I wouldn't have heard about you otherwise. Hey, very cool, dude. Thanks for checking out the channel. I appreciate it. Let's do a little like right here. i do a little like right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I think we need to waterlog that guy. Yeah. Been to the Alani Disney Resort in Hawaii? I haven't been there. Catherine said you guys aren't dating. No, I am not dating Catherine. I... My girlfriend and I are celebrating our fifth anniversary on November 14th this month. And I believe Catherine's been dating her boyfriend for, I think, I think about the same number of years. <laughs> Haven't talked to her about it in a while. Have fun on Maui. I know, I'm super cool. I, I know, it's going to be super cool. Please turn off the fog in video settings and then go in the nether. Yeah, I have, I have fog turned off. I got fog off. I always play with fog turned off. Who even said they're dating? Uh, apparently, if I record a clip with either Jem or Catherine on X Life, or I'm even a slightly associated with something going on with them in X Life, I get like a million comments about how I'm dating them. I don't know where it comes from. It's weird. And I wish people would stop assuming that because I'm doing a clip with somebody on a YouTube series playing Minecraft, I'm dating them. It's just weird. But it's young fans doing what young fans do. <laughs> yeah, me the true ladies, man. That's uh, that's the best joke I've heard in all year. <laughs> Can't stay motivated to play Minecraft because I don't really have a purpose to play and build a giant world in survival. Yeah, I mean, it's... I got bored of building my giant world in survival too, so I'm taking a break right now. <laughs> no no shame in that. That's why we're doing the hardcore stuff. I've been loving it over here. The hardcore world has been so fun. Hardcore for me has been like that return to like just learning how to survive in Minecraft, and I've been loving it. It's been so fun coming throughout here and just figuring out ways, different ways of doing the redstone farms that I might have made beforehand, and now I'm just kind of learning out how to build them myself and do my own way of it. So I've been going to the Minecraft wiki to look up how people did things. Uh, or like, I've been trying to go to the Minecraft wiki to basically see like, how does this mechanic work? Not not going to YouTube of saying, how can I build this farm? It's what, what are the mechanics behind slime spawning? Or what's the mechanics behind blah, blah, blah spawns? Or how do things, what do... Like, what do cats scare away? Like, how do cats scare away creepers? And it's like, how can I use that to build a farm out of all this stuff instead of doing, like, what this first farm design on YouTube says? So it's been fun doing that type of stuff. I'm more of a creative guy. I tried making survival and I found a village and just I got bored of the world. Hey, if you want to play creative Minecraft, there's no harm in doing that. I played, I played creative Minecraft for three and a half years at least before I started playing survival. And probably the last year of that was when I was, uh, I had just started my YouTube channel. Cats scare away phantoms? No way, I never knew that. You're doing great with the redstone stuff? I, I've been trying to learn it in here. I've been trying to make sure I keep like stocked redstone supplies on me. And then also going into like a super flat world to like test it out and make sure I'm actually like making sense with what I'm building. So I want to do something kind of like this. I feel like this is kind of cool. What I want to start getting rid of though is we have all this gross dirt stuff around here. I feel like I don't want the dirt like riding up like that. So like here we need to do like cobble. I don't know. That's my two cents on how to find new things in Minecraft for myself right now. The, what I'm doing for myself right now is understanding parts of the games that I don't already understand. And also I've been having a lot of fun recently with simplifying the builds that I do. I know it's kind of a weird thing to say, seeing as I'm like a building YouTuber, like I play Minecraft and I do YouTube as like a builder. You all know me as like a builder. That's obvious, like that's pretty obvious that that's my rep in the Minecraft community. And 
what I've been doing recently is how can I take like the concepts and things that I know in my brain of how I build things and how can I simplify it and make it more of a clean style? Because I felt like what I was doing was pretty chaotic and busy. So I've been trying to make it more of a clean and approachable build style. So like that's really what we've been going on in the hardcore world over here. Like this is very simple. Like we have smooth sandstone, we have stripped dark oak logs, we have oak, we have oak, and we have stripped oak. Like that's it. And that's a clean spruce roof. Like that's, that is all the blocks you need in there and a little bit of glass, obviously. So I've been making, I've been trying to go very simple. So it's stuff that like, yeah, uh, honestly, I, I'll 100% say give credit where it's due. It's I got the idea from Jem from talking to her a while ago. Um, and just the idea of like going more simple and approachable for like the more general Minecraft community, still making stuff that looks awesome and it's still like our brand and our style and everything but making it more approachable instead of that and it actually like saves some time on the builds which is great which means i can spend more time on like making the better video quality content instead of spending all of it just making a cool looking build which is that's been really important to me recently i felt like i was just spending hours upon hours and like there's some videos where i was putting like 16 17 hours into them for just like of all building time and i was like that's not where I want to be. That's not how I want to make videos right now. Ooh. Have you ever tried building a modern style? I've done it a few times in the past. I did it on decidedly vanilla way back in the day. That was like before I had a thousand subs on my channel. Um, I built like some modern skyscrapery things there. And I've done like a cyberpunk ish build on legacy last, last about eight months ago, I think. 10 months ago. I personally think that moving from simple to complex palettes can give a lot of lore to the world. Building world where I stick to local resource for initial builds and simple structure then loot. Yeah, I'm I'm liking like the simple stuff like the Oh, hi Fox. I'm liking the simple stuff like this in here, but what I want to do is like you're saying like you stick to the palettes of what you have in that area. Granted, there's a lot of oak and dark oak in here as we're in a spruce forest. But I want to like make it so it's very easy to just like tell the difference between the villages that we're building. What do you think your first mega project will be on this world? You see those mountains back there? We're doing custom mountains. As soon as we finish the end, as soon as we go end rating, if we survive the end rating, we get an elytra. We're coming back here and we are building a creeper farm in those mountains. And we're going to make a giant mountain. It's going to be great. We're going to make, like, the goal is I was just looking for elytras or <laughs> rockets to boost myself up. But we can use some sand and pillar up right up in here. But if we go all the way up here. Like, I want to, like, so we have the village back there. I want to, I hate to say it, but I want to destroy that village. And I want to build, like, a big old mountain peak right up here. And we're gonna have like another peak right in that one. This is gonna turn into its own cool peak. And then that one, and then we're gonna have like a fifth peak and then it'll kind of work into some hills coming down over there. So I wanna do like a scene of a whole mountain range throughout here and bring it all down that way. And I'm thinking where we kind of turn into the flat hill area right on this side is I wanna build sort of like a castle or fortress for ourselves. I think it'd be really cool. And this way, it is a small enough mountain project that I can do the whole thing. It won't be like the building with foot mountains where we're never going to finish the entire thing. This will be a mountain project that we can do. You said mount, you said not a mountain range a week. It's not a mountain range. It's going to be one peak, two peak, three peak, four ish peak back there. And then we're going to have hills leading itself down. It'll be fine. Finish mountains. I know big pog moment, big pog moment. That's going to be a lot of stream content though, is I'm debating Mount Rainier, eh, not quite like that. Will it be backlist? No, we'll do the whole side. We'll do all this side. If you ever do big stuff like that, I recommend you get scaffolding. So we're gonna have an elytra before we do it, but we do have bamboo now, thanks to Joel. Joel got some, Joel went and found a jungle and brought back everything for us. Can you do another build? Oh boy, you wait till Thursday. The nether hub is in progress. If you wanna catch it, you can go rewatch Friday's stream. Otherwise, it'll be in a video out on Thursday, I believe. 
And I started doing a lot of stuff over here on the backside. You can see a lot more of the custom trees. I don't want to go in that area because it's going to spoil everything that the mountain is or that the build is for that place. But look at these custom trees. We got three of them right over in there. There's one, there's two right back in there. And it's just, yeah. So there's going to be a hardcore episode tomorrow. There's going to be a hardcore episode on Thursday. And then there's going to be a hard, there's going to X life on Saturday. And then there'll be another hardcore episode on Tuesday. And then, yeah, so it's all custom trees like that guy. And they're just stretching around back there. I really like them. I think they're cool. And then I'm also, I'm still adding in these shorter oak trees, like this dude, where that's going to be kind of like the base ones. Instead of these lower spruce trees, I'm going to have oak trees down here. And then we're going to have these big, tall custom spruce guys. And then I still want to add in more rock structures and crystals like this thing. I think it's be sweet. Give yourself a break. <laughs> I, I mean, I got those videos already done. All of that stuff is already done for and finished up and I it's already uploaded and scheduled. Um, but yeah, after that, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do like a little less in the videos than I typically do. So I can just like have, a, <laughs> I can still have a stress-free vacation, but I think it'll be fine. It'll be good. I think y'all will like the content coming out here soon. It's good stuff. Fancy stuff. Do I have a stone cutter in here? Why don't I have a stone cutter in here? What is wrong with me? I don't even have a crafting table in there. Why don't I have a crafting table in my ender chest? Saw you in Drath stream Thursday. Yeah, I lurk in Drath, uh, Drathmark's channel quite often. He's got a very chill vibe, and I like. I <laughs> whenever I'm grinding and like getting a bunch of resources done in a hard in like in my survival worlds, like when I'm just working on gathering resources. I usually, if Drathmorg is on, I'll chill in the background of his stream. I don't know what it is, but his stream just, I just, it's easy for me to chill. It's very easy for me to chill and kind of just get in like the, the mode of, of work mode. So it's easy for me. Like I kind of tune his, I turn his streams on when I'm just like, all right, I just need to get some work done. I just like, I need to spend a little while here and just get my work done for the day. And if that, if I'm ever having a hard time doing it, I usually go to Twitch and there's a few people that I like to watch if I'm like trying to get a lot of work done and not be disturbed. Cause usually I like, if I'm in a smaller stream like that, I like to chat in there. Like I like to talk every once in a while and just say stuff and be a part of the conversation. Cause I know it means a lot to the people in there. Um, and I think it's kind of fun. And Drath is really nice about just letting me kind of jump in and talk when I want to and then also be quiet and he never like calls me out for it. There's a few people that I'll jump into their streams and try and talk and say something. And then for like the next 40 minutes, they're like, oh, wait, can I show you around the world? Can I show you this thing? Which like, it's really cool. Like, granted, that's me being like, I'm just like, famous people Jeez. problems. <laughs> uh, Alex Park, thanks for the 13 months, dude. Holy cow. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I, anyways, back to what I was saying. I, when I like to lurk in streams and talk every once in a while, but I don't like when people call me out when I'm just lurking and hanging. That's all I got to say. Stone Wolf, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'll try, I'll try my best. I'll just, I, let me just go like stop uploading videos and people forget about me in like a month. I swear. It'd be great. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of where I get with it is that draft stream he just lets me chill he just lets me chill and hang out and just like be a part of the stream instead of like him like the attention turning from him to turning towards me which i really appreciate i want that bone meal back actually thank you i'm gonna go over here and we do a little a little bone meal action ew too much too much less less much less 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 yes that's much better cool perfect if I got called out while lurking, I'm out of the stream. Dude, same. If anybody calls me out while I'm lurking in, a, in their stream, if the streamer calls me out or if anybody in chat calls me out, I'm just like, I've been found out. I must leave. <laughs> I'm just like, if anybody, even if somebody in the chat is just like, oh my gosh, flips in the chat. Like I see him in the viewer list. I'm just like, and out. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> Don't forget to put your totem. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. Look at me. Oh, you guys can't see it. Oh, um, let me turn my webcam off for a second. Look at this baby totem. Uh, is that it? That's it. Look how tiny this totem is. I made it so tiny. Look at it. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. I love it. Oh, it's great. <laughs> now it doesn't take up much. It's a small, it's a small totem. It's a very small. <laughs> 
but yeah it, i i'm very much i feel like a lot of people are this way on twitch like even you all like if i'm sure there's people out here who are watching this stream right now that have some smaller streamers or that they might like to jump into smaller streamers to support them and everything like that and just help them out and if anybody ever oh the orange box is back oh god what did i do where is it webcam border Ugh. go away i'm sorry eggs i think you're the one who made that for me i love it it was great while it worked out and then i um i'm sorry i found a better way of doing it <laughs> but anyways i'm not a smaller streamer <laughs> Well, I just, I mean, I'm just like, there's a lot of people and oh my gosh, the top donor thing's back too. Eh. Gross text. How do you get small totem? I changed it in my texture back. The download should be up on curse here soon. It'll probably be up after I get back from vacation. I'm just too busy to get that thing uploaded. But as I was saying, there's a lot of people who I like to support that are smaller streamers and I like to be that viewer for them and just help them with that little bump up the list because I know how painful it is to grow on Twitch. I, I've done it. I did, I did my time. I did my time growing on Twitch. I did my time getting to the point where I'm at now. And I'm very thankful for everybody who helped me out in that way when I was getting started. So if there's smaller streamers that I like that are doing... They're putting in that time and I think, and I want to be over there to support them so they can help, so they can have the chance of getting to where I'm at today. And just because I'm very thankful for it, I'm so thankful for everybody who supported me along the way, everybody who I've made friends with and everybody who's like the random people that have just dropped in the stream like once or twice and just have been very supportive of the streams and everything like that. Like um, on the, like the big screen cam page where I'm just like chatting in here hanging um, Guardian King, one day, if you all have seen the top dono on there, he was a guy who just jumped in probably about a year ago at this point. Um, and was just like, hey, I'm so thankful for what you do. Like, you've helped me a lot throughout this. I'm not able to make the streams often, but I'm glad I was able to make today's. And he just donated so much that he paid my rent for the entire month. And I'm just so thankful for people who do that and just like having the community behind me. So I want to find ways that, that like, in my own way i can give back to people so i feel like helping at just that smaller level of just like doing that and being there and helping them get that extra step up the list is something that i feel like is a way that i can actively be helping so typically when i'm watching streams i'm watching a lot smaller creators like people who who average under 100 viewers is typically the streams that you can find me in <laughs> what is his name uh, if we go over here to the big cam, you can see it. Uh, it's a little buggy. But, like, we have Guardian King up here, who is absolutely amazing. Fem, who's chilling out here, who's also equally absolutely amazing. Uh, Friedrich, who's dropped in once and did that. We got Eggs up here, Restful Griffin, Skinny Man. Basically, everybody on this list right here, I am so extremely thankful for. Like, just these are the people who go way above and beyond and have helped me basically be able to keep doing what i'm doing today so like everybody on here is just absolutely amazing people but even like the people who are just hanging out in chat and just being in here talking and hanging out and doing that type of stuff still equally thankful for you all like it's not like you are a lesser version of like those people who are going way above and beyond but like like faith here is literally the first message in every single stream <laughs> every single stream i've done for the last like two weeks maybe three weeks the first person to comment on the stream of like when i started up and it's like the starting now screen is always like it's faith or she's like the first three messages and just like that type of stuff like having that support is really insane <laughs> so i'm just like i want to find ways of giving back so that other people can have like the the opportunity that I've been given being able to do YouTube as a full-time job, like I don't think I could, like the, the ability to do this, like this is, everybody's always like, oh, dream dream career and everything like that. And like without sounding like the broken record of every YouTuber, but like really is like, this is like a dream come true to be able to do this every day. And like, I had to create, I get to create cool stuff in Minecraft and basically be an artist every day, all day long. And it's so fun and I'm so thankful for it. I don't, I literally don't know what I'd be doing otherwise. Like before this, I worked in tech support and it was just, I, I hated it. I, <laughs> I hated dealing with like angry customers all day long. Like I did a database management stuff 
and de only dealt with game developers when things broke. Like I used to do database management for Xbox Live. So whenever something for the new Call of Duty game broke or something like that was when I had to do work. <laughs> and when you have to deal with the developer behind Call of Duty, when Xbox servers are down and not doing things, they aren't very happy people. They are not very happy. Whereas like in here, I get to come here and everybody's just like hanging out, loving Minecraft and doing all that stuff. And even like the people who are just chilling, it's fun. It's so cool. Like every day I get to wake up and like, I know that there's people out there who I've like affected in a very positive way through like videos I make. And that's so cool. But, oh God, that sounds horrible. I, yeah, it was, uh, I did night shifts at Xbox for like, I think I worked there for just under seven months. I like, I hit my six month thing and I went and asked for a promotion. I was like, I've broken every metric you guys have asked me to do. I've done all these things. And when you hired me on, you told me six months in, if I hit all the metrics, I'd get promoted. And so I was just like, so how about the promotion? And the management straight up told me no. And then like two weeks later, I turned in my, two weeks later, I walked back in or no, no, it was the next day. The next day I walked back in. I was just like, hey, I just got a job offer somewhere else. Here's my two week notice. Like, goodbye. <laughs> like, I'm out of here. And I'd already been working on like getting a job somewhere else because I hated what I was doing. And I, it worked out like crazy funny timing of like, they basically told me, no, we're not going to promote you. And I was like, goodbye. <laughs> like, I'm out of here. Uh, Shared Seraph, thanks so much for the 50 biddies, dude. Gotta head out. Hey, no worries at all, man. You have a good afternoon or evening. Have a good time zone. What's up, Excalibur? How you doing, man? Good to see you. You can tell Flip is grateful as fuck. The fact that we're almost, we're at 56,000 followers on Twitch. I looked at this. I looked at this, the Twitch stats this time last year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pull it up right now. All right, we're doing this. Let's go to Twitch or Social Blade. I need to do, I, I always, I want, I'm curious. I actually want to see right now. We're going to, we're taking this. This is a weird stream today, everybody. We're just chilling. <laughs> we're just, we're just chilling. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Here we go. I don't think there's anything weird on here to show. Uh, desktop. Look at this. So here's Social Blade. It's a great website for seeing everything going on in the last crazy like followers for the last 30 days we've got almost eight seven seven thousand five hundred followers in the last 30 days um let's see so we got monthly followers if we go back to oh was there like a there's detailed stats that's what we're looking for nothing wrong with weird <laughs> so total followers oh that's weekly um Come on, where's the, do they not have like, I wanna go way back, dude. Can we, oh no, ew, gross. Um, I don't know, reset zoom. Oh, they took it out, you can't go way back. Uh, oh, fine, I'll look it up on Twitch itself. But that one I can't show you because that shows all of the revenue data. Uh, 8trigram, thanks so much, 100 biddies. Flips turned into a Jack Sucks no, analytics video. <laughs> Exactly. Hey, those videos are pretty entertaining, though. It's kind of cool seeing it side of it. Uh, is it Minecraft? It's not Minecraft. Nighttime, yeah. I'm just curious. I want to know how many followers we've gained in the last 365 days. Uh, channel analytics. Of course it doesn't do auto set to 365. Uh, let's go to... Do, 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 do. November 1st. To... All right, so November 2nd, 2019 to November, oh my God. Okay, so we've lost some followers. I don't have enough money to be one of the top gifters, but I still <laughs> love tipping you for the awesome hey. content you give all of us. <laughs> Glad you found your dream job. Alex Park, I really do appreciate that, dude. You've been, I honestly, dude, I consider you up there with the rest of them. You've been very supportive since the beginning, so I do appreciate it. So we've lost some followers, unfortunately. Some people hate me, but that's fine. In the last year, 57,000 people have followed my stream. We have 56,500 followers right now. So obviously we've lost like 100 followers. I wish it would show like everything like that. But like a year ago, like this, this day last year, 
this day, like November 2nd last year, I got 89 followers on Twitch. So far, today, being November 2nd, today, we've already got in 400. <laughs> like, just 84 to 400 in one day. Like, like, the same day last year to same day today. It's just crazy. That's so cool. Uh, Illitas, thanks so much for the gift sub. I really do appreciate that. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. They don't get why people don't follow you. I mean, it, some people lose interest in Minecraft. It's fine. If people unfollow, I don't mind. I don't take it to heart. Like, if you... If you're no longer interested in Minecraft, that's fine. You probably aren't going to be interested in a Minecraft YouTuber as much anymore. So it's it's okay. It's cool. It's People grow out of it. People change where their, their, their heart and their desires are at. Like, there's people who I used to follow all the time when I was really, really into World of Warcraft. And now that I'm not so into it, I trim that list of people down that I follow to, like, four or five people. Um, whereas beforehand... Um, I used to, like, there was probably 20 to 30 different WoW streamers that I would follow on a daily basis. Like, when I'm saying daily, I mean, like, I was in their streams every day, trying to watch what stuff they were doing, trying to, like, replicate it and get, like, the new strats behind a boss fight or something like that. Uh, Femme, thanks so very much for the gifts up as well. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. I will always be subscribed on YouTube. <laughs> there we go. You got rid of the fox boat? No, the fox boat's right here. You're comfortable with sharing who you want to win president? Nope, we're not talking politics. There is somebody who I very much favor, but we're not talking politics because it's going to ruin the good vibes that we have here today. All I will say on the political talk is everybody should go vote. If you live in the United States and you are of, of voting age, I don't care what your opinion is. I don't care who you vote for. I just want you to go do it. That's all I'm going to say. If you have somebody that you just like don't just don't just skip out that's all i'm gonna say if you are 18 or older and you have the ability to just go do it <laughs> that's that's the political rendition you will get from me today is if you are old enough to vote you should go vote i'm just reminding people to vote that's just is yeah don't turn in an empty ballot because somebody will use that <laughs> dark fire thanks so very much for the gift sub as well Hey, Kylie, no worries. I enjoy just hanging out on the stream. It's all good. Okay. Uh, Minecrafting question for you folks. What should we do down here? <laughs> what should we add, keep adding to underwater? I, I'm enjoying just like tweaking things here and there as we're building the underwater section. But what do y'all think we should keep adding? What, what are the thoughts on this? Should we get rid of the sand down here? Should we keep the sand? It feels very... Minecrafty to have the sand in but do we get rid of it do we keep it i think we got to keep adding some rocks like the rocks around like the posts here for the bridge i feel like is a cool way to go so, and then it'll kind of hide some of these bits like that so that's all good news uh we got to go sleep more rocks always more rocks more rocks because they rock keep the sand keep the sand sea pickles i don't i don't have enough sea pickles to add more that's the problem you could add some gravel. We could add some gravel. What is the stuff on the wall? Uh, paintings. Custom paintings and a texture pack. Cattails. Ooh, we could do some green gra green things. and um, We could do some green things. Good good wording, Flip. I like, I like the cattails idea. I really am digging the cattails idea. Uh, do I have any plain glass? I do. Do, 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 do. Where do I have some cactus? Cactus, 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 cactus green. Look at that. Cactus green, everybody. That's not a craft table. That's a thing about that. Okay. There's that going in there. We can put the green back up in here. We can do this. And we go boop, boop. Let's get... Let's do a full stack. Why not? Why not? You can bone meal sea pickles. Yeah, you got to bone meal them on top of coral though, right? Or can you bone meal them on anything? It has to be on coral, right? That's That's the thing. has to be on coral uh built amazing things in hardcore built dirt house and creative is happy hey if your dirt your dirt house could be the best dang dirt house out there please acknowledge you hi Wulo. so we do this boop 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 and boop 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 cool this is the best dang cattail design you'll ever see in minecraft ready 
Right here, this is it. No, I'm kidding, we gotta make it still. It's all good, we'll, we'll get through this together. I hate that you can bone meal a fully grown sea pickle. Dumb. It's already at the max. It should not be allowed to be bone mealed again. There we go. Cool. That'll work. I think we need to get some birch leaves too. I think if we get some birch leaves around here, do I have any on me? We might need to go shear a birch tree. I got oak leaves, but I'm saving those for trees. So let's go get some birch leaves for ourselves. Do, 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 do. Where is my empty chest? It's right over here. Boo. Wait, shears? Yes, let's get those. Woohoo, almost ran into the berry. Quiz question for you, and you cannot use a search engine. What's the national animal of Scotland? Isn't it the unicorn? I did that before reading chat, just so you know. I saw the rest of the chat afterwards. And your chest spoilers, it's fine. You'll never know what happens after that stuff. Has Joel given you the two jungle saplings? Yeah, yeah, I got some jungle trees growing up. It's pretty nice. I like jungle trees. This has turned in my industrial area of here's all the oak trees you could ever need. <laughs> Any tips for building towers? Um, yeah, um, yes, and I mean, it depends on the type of tower you're going for. I build plenty of towers. I build towers all the time. Um, I would say make it wider when you go up. And if you're using a circle one, try and go like a little boxy when you go up to the top. It can actually look a little bit better on like smaller scale ones instead of being like circle to a wider circle. But just you got to spend a lot of time working on the shape and I would make sure you go very pointed on the top. Uh, you'll see a lot of the uh, towers I do. I'll show you the windmill when we get back in a sec. But you'll see like the top of them is like it's very pointed. It's not just a it's not just like flat and rounded out because otherwise you can get a little bit of an awkward shape up there if you know what I mean. They're gonna look a little weird. So, I always recommend going more pointed than not. Uh, hey, Alex Park, thanks so much for stopping by today. Dude, you have a good one, all right? Are you excited for the 117 update? Heck yeah, dude. Hope you're having a good time. I gotta tune out, but I can stay for maybe another 10 minutes, thanks. Hey, uh, depre depressids. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Is the early stream reward stackable? No. And it's, um, I need to disable it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it's going to be something that if somebody redeems that right now, it will not happen for a few weeks because this is the last stream for this week and the next week is going to be chaos for me. Mine's diamonds, iron pickaxe. I mean, you use mine's diamonds with a wooden pickaxe. I mean, that's kind of like a sad way to go because I don't think you'll get the. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good to see you. Thanks everybody for tuning in today. This is a stream that I started almost three hours late compared to the typical time that I do streams. So I appreciate y'all stopping by. Anyways, as somebody was asking about roof designs and things like that for towers or just towers in general, as I meant to stand on top of this, this guy right here, you see this? It's kind of hard to see with the windmill blade in the way, but you can see how it like pokes itself upwards. Like make that, like do do like a very slopey point to it. It'll be much, much easier. And you can see how it's pretty simple around the sides. Even like these shorter ones, you can see I went for like that much more peaked up point there. Helps a lot. And like, that's a really simple tower. Like that's tech, I mean, that's technically like supposed to be like a grain silo, but like this thing over here, very simple. Wide base, bring it in a little bit, going up and then the very pointy, pokey up tower. I have another pickaxe, but I need mending to get on it. Your parents took your phone away. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so what I'm thinking, does green glass, it doesn't stick to leaf blocks. Good, 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 good. So, sea pickles, everybody. Look at that, cattail. Look at that there, cattail. The best cattail you ever done did see. Whoop. Isn't that great? Look how fantastic those look. I love these. 
I love these. I don't have the custom sky map texture pack anymore because I did not have rights to it, so I had to remove it. It was not to my own thing. Add some bamboo to the sides of the river. Yeah, we could. That's all the bamboo I have, which speaking of which, I should go chop it down and replant it so I can get some more. But no, so you haven't been acting like how are you on stream? I don't mind your YouTube. I'm in the YouTube. I feel like I've been a lot more chill on the YouTube side of things recently. I don't know. I just get goofy on streams. <laughs> I don't mind having the difference between my YouTube and my Twitch side of things, but I've been going on YouTube. I've been trying to be like, honestly, a little bit more on the personality side, but I feel like it doesn't make sense for the YouTube videos to do what I do here on streams. So that's kind of why. I feel like the YouTube videos, I've been trying to honestly bring more of the goofy side in, but it's so much like ad lib here on Twitch that it's hard. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing when I'm streaming. You all just seem to like it and are entertained by it. But in reality, I don't know what I'm going to be saying in 30 seconds from now or two minutes from now or five minutes from now. It's just kind of how I'm doing things. Also, we're going to take that down here a second and build a custom tree because I'm tired of that blocking my house and being ugly. Um, I want to fix it now. <laughs> So let's do this. Uh, and we can do a little one right there. Another little one right in here. A super big one right out here. I don't know, sure, why not? And then we could do like a little guy right in here. The problem is we can't put in any of these right next to each other because they look really awkward. Like they connect and the panes will connect and it looks gross, but it's fine. Look, look at all these little thingies. Oh, I love them. We can do this and kind of hide it a little bit there. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's so fun. All right, we could add some lily pads over there too, but I feel like without the lily pads, it's almost better. Do you like to read? I wish. I, I wish I read more, but I really don't that often. We are at a thousand viewers. Holy cow. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I just looked over. I'm like, holy cow. That's the first time I looked at viewership all day. We have a thousand people watching the stream right now. Can you ask Jem when she's going to be live? Dude, Jem's like, Jem is like one of the busiest people I've ever met. She will be live when she can be live. She is a full-time student and does YouTube as a side gig. So be patient. Be patient, okay? <laughs> when she has free time, I'm sure she will live stream. I'm a big fan. Be honored if you could notice me. What's what's up, Kratikin? Kratikin. Kratikin. Nobody likes reading, to be honest. I don't. I feel like I know a lot of people. That, I liked reading a lot as a kid. I really liked um, a lot of like fantasy books and things like that. I couldn't tell you the titles of my own because I don't remember them. But I used to love like fantasy novels 2000. and stuff like that. And it was really cool. Amika Storm, thanks so much for the 200, 200 bitties. 200. I've read the thousand. I was like, woo, thousand. I was like, what? what? <laughs> Thanks so much. I appreciate it. <gasps> wait, wait. Cursed Minecraft thing. Wait, 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 wait. Farmland does not connect to glass panes. We could use that as a way over there to make it so the glass panes don't connect to the side of the river, to the river bank. Like here? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's a good thing to know. I like this discovery. I like this. I like where this is going, everybody. Just gonna do a little something right here. Hmm. As the villagers would say. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Now all the viewers leave. What are you doing? Detailing a riverbank? Because we. I'm. I don't know. <laughs> Today's stream's weird, everybody. Flip, it's getting dark. I do. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're good. Um, dirt. Enter Chesco. Boom. Enter Chesco down. Uh, shears away. Diamond hoe out. I also need. What do we want to put on the edge? Do we want to put more wheat seeds? I've been using wheat seeds a lot. Or we want to do some like carrots and potatoes. Or beetroot. Beetroot is a pretty good like edge of the water thing. We'd use some beetroot down here. Nobody likes it, but we could use it, okay? 
It's fine. We'll find a use for beetroot. Even beetroot matters sometimes. Okay, everybody? Sea pickles? Oh, dude, sea pickles. Look at look how many sea pickles are out here. I'm putting sea pickles everywhere. But, like, we can come through here and do like this. Look at that. And then it no longer connects. And then, like, here. We can do, like, something like that. And it's great. And we do like this. And it's awesome. Let's go get some beetroot seeds. Do you channel grow a lot for joining X Life? Um, I I did get a lot of growth off joining X Life. I was over two hundred thousand subscribers before I joined X Life, um, and I did get a lot of amazing growth off of X Life for sure. But it's not how my channel grew. My channel grew a lot through like think I'm really happy to say that a lot of my channel growth I actually got myself. It wasn't built through other people. Or like through joining a series or something like that. I did some collabs with a lot of people to bring attention to my channel. Like I'm very thankful for like I've collabed with Wells Knight. I've collabed with Corrales. I've collabed with uh, Arcalis quite a few times. And they're all awesome people. I had a great time getting to know them and meet them and just become friends with all of them. But like that's not why my channel grew per se, which is kind of cool. So I'm very happy to say that my channel's like grown in its own right instead of like through joining something which is cool but i definitely i will 100 percent say that i've gotten a lot of growth off of joining x life for sure it was the mountains that brought the fame <laughs> who knows man who knows so i'm thinking we can add some like these guys right along the base here too so we got those and we can do like a little like birch leaf and a birch leaf and a birch leaf we're just doing a full-on riverbank transformation today everybody <laughs> this is apparently where i wanted to go with the building for today uh we could do this and we could do like one of these back here excuse me barry please don't i came from x slice wish i joined sooner hey you got here when you got here and streams are so chill hey. listen to it well pl i play minecraft very cool dude very cool amazing at building can you join Jeremyism? <laughs> if not, can you say hello, Aria? Hello, Aria. <laughs> Rhea? Rhea? Ar Aria? Yeah, Aria. I, my girlfriend's uh, got a younger cousin named Aria. I found foot way back when searching for Minecraft builds on Subsense. Thanks, man. Thanks. Came from trying to become a better builder. <laughs> aren't, aren't we all on a quest to become better Minecraft builders? I feel like that's like the goal of a lot of people who play minecraft is always how can i be a better builder like even myself like i consider myself like a talented minecraft builder but you better believe there is 100 percent something that i want to learn as i'm still doing things like i am not 100 percent happy with where i'm at as a builder yet like there's always going to be something that i want to improve on and get better on and things like that like i would love to learn how to build organics better I can't build an organic in Minecraft to save my life. And I can't build a boat to save my life either. So it's all good. I have heard of Jeremy. I have definitely heard of Jeremy. <laughs> Came from Life, stayed for building with Whip, then Hardcore being a thing, made Foot my favorite YouTuber ever. Hey, awesome, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I'm the Hardcore series has been awesome. I've been having so much fun with this. Also, I am in love with this section over here. Holy cow, everybody. Look at this thing. Wait, 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 what, what, what? Let's, where's my sea pickles? And where's my glass right in here? Look at this. And we can do like a little guy right out in here. We can do like that. And we can do like a little, oh, nope, wrong place. Yeah. And I'm gonna put like a beetroot right back in here. Oh, it, 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 gross. I hate that you can't till Podzil. Podzil, definitely the best of the dirt blocks until you try and till things. But look at this, everybody. Look at that right there. Look at this. I like this a lot. It feels very like green. Just like it's very just mismatched green, but that could be my color blindness playing into it. Um, uh, I can't really see a whole lot of detail in it, but it's looking pretty sweet. Let's, a little something right here, okay? Just a little, just a little something. Any advice for building houses on the spot and be able to make them look good? Uh, get a few things that you have in your building repertoire of stuff that you like just a few things here and there that you're like you know what this makes a cool house learn like eight or nine different things different ways to do something like different ways to do a door different ways to do a chimney windows that you can put on window designs like shutter designs and things around it if you can pick up on those things you will be able to figure out 
a lot of easy ways to build houses because you just have to combine those together. That's it. Look at this. We did this today. Yeah, I'm a like red green colorblind unofficially, but I've taken like 10 tests, 10 different tests that have all set it. Uh, these are the BSL shaders version 7.2. Look underwater here. We did this today. The 7.2 ones make it so you can actually go underwater and see things and it looks sweet. Do I still have bone meal on me? I do. Hello, 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 hello. Look at that. Oh, it's looking good. We can't use these for too long because it makes my computer run a little hot. Uh, especially when I'm streaming and it gets to be a little laggy. So I just want to do a quick... Look at that. Look at that, everybody. Let's queue up a screenshot right here. You can see drop that FOV to 50. This is how you make the pretty ones, everybody. Do that. You crouch down, give yourselves a little better angle right here. Get the crystal in there at the top. Oh, Alright, let's move to building a tree, shall we? It's custom tree time, everybody. It's custom tree time. Da, 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 da. Uh, whoop, would you ever do a tutorial on Mediterranean builds? Um, I don't really like doing tutorials. I really don't enjoy making tutorial videos. And I don't think my audience is here for tutorial videos. So, that's kind of it. Sometimes I really appreciate that you're very humble, but at the same time, you're afraid to admit it when you're good at something. <laughs> oh, I am the king of being like, I am the freaking best at this. And then like two minutes later, I'm just like, yeah, but I kind of suck. <laughs> if you, um, if I ever do like a stream like way later in the future, it won't happen anytime soon. But with like a lot of my IRL buddies, if I'm ever just chilling with them, I am straight up the person who's just like, I am the absolute best at this. You all suck. Get on my level. <laughs> Even though I'm just like, I'll, I'll play like a, I'll play like a, like say just for example, like a first person shooter game or something like that. And I will get like literally middle tier of the lobby. Like I will be like, like 50%, like right smack dab in the middle. And I will just start going off being like, I am the best person ever. You all are terrible. Like get on my level. You can't even compete with me. And all my friends are up there at like one, two, three. And then I'm down at like rank seven. And I'm just like, no, I'm the best. You guys got nothing. <laughs> I, I, I like, I don't know. I, I like that stuff. I just mess around a lot. <laughs> uh, let me make some dark oak fences here real fast. So we can, nope, not, not spruce fences, dark oak. I put in my time. We love it. <laughs> we love it. See, I'm just talking about I'm the best at things, and viewers just went up to 1,050. Obviously, yeah, people do love it. Uh, let's put the dirt back in here, because this is where all my overflow chests are going. Uh, sea pickles can go in there. Sugar cane can go in a bucket. In there. Bucket, bucket. Bucket, 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 bucket. Okay, I don't know what it's doing there, but I did a thing. I think I have a bunch of spruce leaves over in this way. How frustrating is it when you built something one block off? I mean, I think when I build something one block off, I think the rest of the world is one block off, not my build. So it's fine. Like if, if everything else in the world was built one block to the left of where I built my build, that's the world's fault, not mine. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm spoiling everything over here. Oh, where'd I put all my spruce leaves? Really need to move that berry bush. I know, I literally hit it every time I walk out. <laughs> Shout out from Jamaica. Hey, what's up, dude? This is my first time watching your stream. Oh my gosh, Tucker, welcome on in. Will you consider your friends in this world, people you hang out IRL if you could? You know, if they didn't live across the other side of the world, I would definitely go meet up with them and hang out. Where did all my dang spruce leaves go? I harvested up like 10 stacks of them. Oh, I'm blind. It's fine. It's okay, everybody. <laughs> it's fine. Everybody's fine. I promise. I'm not going crazy here. I'm going crazy. What's your opinion on Bedrock Edition? Minecraft is Minecraft, dude. If, if Bedrock Edition is how you like to play Minecraft, that's what you got for it. I'm a Java Edition player because I've been playing Java since 1.2 of Java. 
And for me, moving over to Bedrock, the controls just feel so different. I know it's basically the same, but there's little nuances to how the game is played that that for me makes it a little confusing. So I play Java, but there's nothing wrong with Bedrock. Bedrock is a great version of the game. There's slight differences, but it's Minecraft. It's all cool. We got the same stuff in all of them. Are there options for the code cache in the works? Really need something to spend it on? I am open to ideas. I'm open to ideas of things we can add to the code cache, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Best Minecraft update in your opinion? 1.13. The aquatic update, to me, I was thinking about it earlier this morning. I actually had like an epiphany while I was driving to my barber shop this morning to get my haircut. I had an epiphany. And that epiphany said that 1.13 is the best update in all of Minecraft because it allows you to waterlog things. The ability to waterlog stairs and slabs and walls and fences and everything is one of the best additions to Minecraft because it opens up so many methods for building and also you can't hate on seagrass and kelp and all those extra things that came with it drowned maybe not so much but everything else that came with 113 to me is so influential still to this day in how i play minecraft i don't think there's been an update out there yet that has influenced so greatly on how i build in minecraft than the aquatic update for kind of those reasons alone uh, Malu Torres, thanks so very much for the tier two or the two month resub, dude. I probably totally butchered your name, but I really do appreciate the resub. Okay. Water. Yeah. Water elevator is pretty good. That's redstone stuff that I understand. Um, not even redstone technical stuff that I understand. And I just think like that sort of stuff in the game is pretty sweet. Um, I'm really like, I love what they did with the aquatic update. I think the aquatic update was fantastic. I think they did a great job with it. Okay, so coming into here now, we can start bringing these things out and then we can go like over here. I think we can do like something like this guy. Still waiting for the day where the whole X-Life server meets up RL. <laughs> Dude, I don't think that'll happen unless there's like a giant Minecraft event where we all get invited to it or something like that. Perfect pronunciation, cool. <laughs> Felt like I butchered it, but I'll take it. <laughs> Ozo, thanks so much for the Prime sub, dude. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, for me, the Update Aquatic was one that was so good. It had a rocky start to it. I will admit that when they added in like the COD and all the lag from the fish and servers and things like that, that they just couldn't have anticipated. There's no way they could have anticipated that much lag being brought into the game. Maybe they, I feel like I will always say that Minecraft needs a better QA department. Like I don't like that Minecraft uses the community as their QA department. That for me is a little frustrating, especially from somebody who's done QA work in the past and it just shouldn't be that way. Um, like you having, especially when you're like that big of a game company as Minecraft is and like Mojang is that you should have a QA department that is able to catch a lot of the bugs that the community submit for Minecraft. Uh, QA is quality assurance. So basically it's bug testing. It's like bug testing and making sure things work properly and everything's accounted for. And it's all like you basically play there. Yeah, there's a QA department now, which is great. And I'm really happy they did that. But I just felt like it took them too long to get one that actually did the job that it needed to. If that makes sense. I'm very thankful they have one now, but it just felt like it took a long time for such a big game. <laughs> Granted, it's it's a great game. I play it all the time. Like I literally play Minecraft fifty to sixty hours a week. <laughs> so I really can't complain too much. Reckon they ever had lava logging? I kind of hope they don't, because lava logging would be interesting to add. Because then you're saying these blocks don't get melted by lava, so they have like you couldn't lava log a oak plank like an oak stair or something like that would not make sense to lava log it so i feel like adding lava logging is just like a very questionable thing to do whereas water logging was easy water doesn't melt things <laughs> simple as that water does not melt things everybody that's that's why it's okay okay up here we can do this we can do this 
And then we could do like this. Oop. How did I do that? Maybe I just kind of did like that. Cool, that's the top of the tree. We did it. We built a custom tree, everybody. Look at that. Wow, we're so good. We built a thing. Oh, okay, I need, this is the hard part. I figured out a really, really rough way of being able to get all the way down these trees with how I've been building them and being able to add like these custom little extendy bits. I guess the whole thing's custom, so it's all custom. But, so it's not a custom extendy bit, it's just an extendy bit. We need to keep moving all the way down it slowly. And this is able to avoid a lot of the fall damage, which is nice. Feels so cool when Flip reads my comment. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. What do I do with my hands? Do I just hold them right here? Thanks, uh, Fern, what's going it's on? Been How's great. it going? Good to see you. Anime, thanks so very much for the three month race up. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The water bucket drop? No, I'm, mm, I can't, I literally, I can't on the server. The latency I get on the server makes it so I can't do any of the MLG water bucket things. Like, part of me, like, low-key. Low-key, everybody. This is not something I wish on the other members of not an SMP hardcore series. But I kind of hope everybody else dies before I do. Because then I can take it to a single-player world, and then I don't have any lag. This server is hosted in the UK because they're all in the UK and Joel's paying for it. So thanks Joel for paying for the server. But it's like, I get so much lag on here being on the West coast of the U S that like, I can't play with under 150 MS, like 150 MS on the server right now is good for me. Like I don't even like I get four bars max and that's like a good day. And that's because I'm the only one on right now. So like low key kind of hoping that everybody else dies so I can just download the world and run it single player mode if I'm the only one alive in it because nobody else is going to join. Uh, <laughs> I thought it, I think it'd be kind of cool. Just move here. It's fine. <laughs> you know what? Depending how it goes later this week. <laughs> no, no, what? No, 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 no political things. Flip. No political things. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm kind of like hoping I'm the last person alive so I can uh, be the last person on here. What's your favorite block? Honestly, recently Dark Oak. Like Strip Dark Oak. Strip Dark Oak is. It's like, you know, Emperor's New Groove when he's just like, the sun just hits the side of the mountain just right. And then I'm just like, Mojang got the Strip Dark Oak texture just right. It's like, mm, it's just mm, perfect. Mm, it's just great. That right there, that block. Mm. Ah, it's just, just, just good. Can we just enjoy that just for a minute here? Can we just enjoy the strip dark oak texture right down there? It's just, it's just a good one, everybody. It's just a, it's just a good, all around good block. Can we just agree on that for a second? <laughs> It's fine, everybody. <laughs> I'm in a mood today. This stream's a mood, everybody. <laughs> uh, official mez, I've not. Um, and I don't know what's going on. I'll check, I'll look into that stuff after the stream, but I don't enjoy, I don't enjoy when people come into your, into the streams and surprise me with like a real world event going on, no matter how great or terrible it is. I just, I'm trying, not have those live reactions for myself on stream and things like that because uh just feel like it's not a thing that we need in here but that's really sad to hear that something's going on tips for building big oak trees make the leaves floofy big floofy leaves if hey, flip i'm really re late no worries dude i was three hours late you're only an hour and a half late so we're all good <laughs> look at this tree though we made a tree it looks like a tree Sounds like a tree, barks like a tree, walks like a tree. It is a tree, right? That's how we do it. Really want to have a world similar to yours as travel. I can't because seed generation cannot seem to work with a train. I mean, you don't have to have the exact same seed here. You just got to find something you like to build on. Are you still in legacy SMP? I'm not on legacy right now. I'm not ruling it out for the future, but I'm on kind of like a 
a hiatus, if you would call it, from Legacy, and I don't have a plan date of going back to it. No hate against the Legacy group at all or anything like that. I just, it, I wasn't really enjoying it the way that I was doing the series. And I think I need to go back to the drawing board on how I want to do a series like that. If I do it in the future, just kind of extending the wheat up here. Cause I think it'll look a lot better when we get a little bit of wheat grown up in this area. I have a lot of respect for the legacy guys and what they're doing. They got some cool stuff coming up here in the next little bit that you should, if you like legacy, stay tuned with them. It's definitely going to be worth it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be part of, of the future seasons or whatever it is that they're planning on doing. I need to go get a block. We need a block. We need a block. We need a block. It's going to be nighttime. What do you think about the Beatles? Beatles? Pretty good music, man. Pretty good music. His name is Brady. Okay. Hi, Brady. How's it going? Really need to start doing custom dreams. Makes areas look so much nicer. Yeah, you can always go, like, if you want a custom tree and you don't want to go too crazy with it, just use a sapling, plant it down, and then tweak it from there. You can get, like, a big oak tree. It's, like, a great start for a custom oak tree. Like, the big oak trees that can grow out of saplings, that's a really good place to start. You can also do that with, like, acacia trees. That's a good place to start with them, too. And there's just a lot of stuff that can be pretty simple to do with just, like, the basic tree that you can kind of tweak and change and everything. Dark oak trees... A little interesting on that one, but I want to get back into building more custom trees in this series, especially because I feel like it's a we live in a mega taiga. Like, and if we just change all these big, the big guys like that one and that one and the one back there, change those into custom ones like that, like that thing. I don't know. What do y'all think about this one? Like that guy. Previously, it was something like that in here. What do we think? What do we think? Will you do any other modded Minecraft? Uh, I'll do. I'll stick with the X Life crew. If we do another series on there, I don't think I'll do solo mod of Minecraft stuff though. I just, it's not my, it's not my jam. I like, I like the community base behind mod of Minecraft though. Really nice. Cool. Cool. I think I'm really happy we, we redid that one right here. Cause look at the house now. Can we just talk about how much better this house looks now that that right here is not just being cut off by a block of a spruce tree. Yeah, Legacy SMP is a server I used to be on. Uh, Mythical Sausage is on there. Uh, Pearlescent Moon's on there. Arcalus is on there. Le Logical Geek Boy's on there. Slice Lime's a part of it. Um, Python is on there. And a bunch of other folks. Just the names I can think of off the top of my head. But look, look, look how much better that frames our starter house. That frames it so much better. Thoughts on Hermitcraft? I think they do an awesome job of making Minecraft content. They do a great job of pushing vanilla to its limits. It's really cool to see like the storylines and things they come up with. I am very in awe of the ability they have to build a storyline. That's what I'll say on it. And also it's a invite only thing. Uh, what am I doing now? Do we, I, I kind of want to do like another custom spruce tree. That was, they're so easy just so simple i kind of want to do that one and like that one if we can get those into those custom spruce ones like these guys oh it's gonna be good it's gonna be good we don't need to spam about the mycelium resistance or podzel being the best block we all know podzel is the best block it's fine we can just leave it there it's all good when you get an ender chest uh i'm pre-recording a bit because i'm going out of town and i got it um a little earlier this week actually to be specific i made it yesterday All I'm saying is Vintage Beef was onto something with Podzel being in the best block. That's all I'm saying. Of the dirts. You can't go wrong with Podzel. <laughs> Sing for us? No. I will not be singing. I will not. I refuse. Download the world on Patreon. Hey, awesome, dude. Glad you enjoyed it. Tell me why. Tell you why what? Tell me why I won't sing or tell you why Podzel's the best block in the game of the dirt blocks. <laughs> yeah, Lord Warhawk's right on that one. <laughs> Currently 346 season delays. Exactly. Let's do this one right here because it's in the middle. Wait, I need shears. I want to get those spruce leaves at the top because I need them. Podzel looms 
looks a lot a little like vomit <laughs> we just need to make in that case if everybody think pods will look like vomit what you're telling me I need to do over here is I need to make a podzol and diorite biome that will look great. And you all are going to be like, it looks, these blocks look awful together. They look like poop and vomit. And then I'm going to make it and you're going to be like, all right, fine. You made it work. It looks cool. And I'm going to be like, yeah, you're right. Merch is still up. Yeah. Merch is that, that those are some trial runs. I didn't, I didn't put a timer on that merch stuff. I think I'm going to. I want to get some new designs. I learned a lot from doing the merch the first time around. So next time around, I'm going to do even better. But I got to come up with some new designs for fun things to do. All right. So we got a we got a diorite and podzle biome coming in the works here. Now, what you all are saying is I need to do that. I will find a way to do it around here. Maybe we can make a diorite quarry. I think that's a good way to go. We can make a diorite themed quarry build. And you all are going to be like, Quip, this is awful. What are you doing? And then I'm going to finish the build. And you all are just like, oh, all blocks are good blocks. Got it. New to your streams. Looks fun. Hey, welcome on in, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Good to have you. Did I bring the hoe? I did not bring the hoe. Are your tools enchanted? They are. I have a texture pack on that gives it, you can see like a little subtle, like orange, like a little subtle orangey red, little just like whoop going off of it. And I think it looks a million times better. Confidence, I love it. Exactly. If I'm anything, it's confident. For better or for worse, pretty confident. <laughs> what I need to do here is I need to get a block that's gonna be looking, I should have saved that one. Hmm. That's how it's going. There we go. I don't understand that diorite hate's literally your favorite block, dude. Diorite's a good block. It's diorite hate came from this is this is the epitome of YouTube in like social media is the hate for diorite came from a few youtubers a while ago saying diorite looks like poop or looks like bird poop or something like that as a joke and we're like i'm never gonna build with it because it looks like poop and it, it used to it used to look pretty bad but when the text packs were when like text packs were updated in 114 when joppa joined my like the minecraft studios mojang and all that stuff and like started working on the textures and making them actually really nice now and it doesn't do that anymore but because there's so much hate in the community for the block of everybody before was like all right it looks like it's looking bad and everything like that like it looks like this blah 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 thing and there's so much stuff behind that of people being like this block's terrible blah 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 blah, blah. uh and then like Iskull, for example, is one of those people who always has said, like, diorite is a bird poop block, and he burns it at any chance he gets, and won't, like, won't even have it in his inventory. And obviously, he has a pretty influ influential presence right now, being on Hermitcraft, and he's a very growing channel, over a million subs, and it's actively getting a large number of views and everything like that, so... Everybody who watches his videos gets hyped up in that whole thing. And it's like, Iskull hates this block. And I really look up to Iskull. So I now also hate this block. And then it's a lot of that just continues and spirals out of control as they get into the the Reddit communities and commenting on posts of people using Diorite and be like, it looks like bird poop. And then people who are posting on Reddit to try and be like, look at this cool build I made. And then everybody's like, why would you use Diorite? It looks like bird poop. And then they're like, oh, I guess it does look like bird poop. The community thinks it does. So obviously I shouldn't use this block anymore. And then it just kind of spirals out to where it's at now, where everybody thinks Diorite is a bad block when it's not. That's Drath with scaffolding. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, Drath doesn't have that same audience size, so it's not going to spread. No, there's no beef between me and Iskal. It's, I don't. Like, it's just the way that the internet community operates. I think Eskel's a cool guy. I like his videos a lot. I mean, I, I'm not passionate about diorite <laughs> specifically, but it's just like, there's uh, it's just the Minecraft community in general. I get doing that stuff for like a gag and like a joke and everything like there. Like, 
I will what I, I do that same thing for cobblestone. Like I will jokingly say cobblestone is the worst block in Minecraft all the time. Like I do that quite often. Probably once a stream, I will talk about how cobblestone is my least favorite block in the game. And now there's a lot of people in my community that are now like, yeah, I agree. Cobblestone's really bad. <laughs> and I'm just like, but it maybe it's not. I'm just kind of doing it as a joke. It's just kind of the way community somewhere you think granite is way worse see i really like granite i think granite's an awesome texture i think granite's a really good block i like it a lot I had the weirdest bug in bad bad rock earlier i went to pick some crops and one single wheat was pure black huh interesting that's the internet in a nutshell yeah it's not just minecraft community it's everything on the internet cobblestone can be boring because it is common but it's also can also be defining and humble yeah, cobblestone can be used well. What I don't like about cobblestone is the fact that people will be like, did I messed up the top of that tree? It's fine. It's fine. I didn't know how to pay attention. What I don't like about cobblestone is that people, like, obviously, because it's so common, it's easy to get a bulk amount of it. So it's easy to build a lot of things out of with it. And then people will just be like, you know what? The entire build I made, it's cobblestone. And then I'm just like, but it's ugly. Use something else. Use stone brick use something literally anything else don't just use cobblestone like you can use cobblestone but use stone along with it so it gives it some contrast cobblestone is just too busy if you build only with cobblestone it just your builds look like a, a mess they look just like a busy mess because there's so much going on with it whereas like building with like a smooth stone or something like that there you can get more character into the shapes and everything instead of it just being like a crazy busy looking structure how cobblestone does it because it's just so there's so much going on it's a very active texture it's not bad per se it's just very active so cobblestone works when you like zoom super far out from your builds which is definitely a like a building something to see it from a thousand blocks away is very much like a minecraft thing like anybody who does renders in minecraft and like does those massive organic builds or where they're basically creating a scene in the game or like a piece of art like a sculpture like a 3d sculpture like you think about it that happens all the time in minecraft building and it's not bad it's just the way people like to do it and then like where am i going with this it's just that like cobblestone when you zoom out that far gives a gray color but when you get in really close to it it just gives like a very busy looking gray so i don't know i think cobblestone is just like overused because of how easy it is to get is kind of why i don't use it too often like you you all this that's the most cobblestone like i'm probably ever going to use in this build like this entire place is like that right over there because i didn't have access to stone or andesite yet <laughs> i need to go fix it to be honest i would love to be able to fix that and mess it up a little bit further uh yeah if you do exc exclamation point essentials it'll get you a link to this texture pack if you want to download it it's very bare bones it's just got some paintings in it and it's got some like the, the leaves and some enchanting stuff what are your thoughts about the 117 updated update i'm super excited for it i think it's gonna be sweet i'm really looking forward to it you handcrafted a tree i did handcraft a tree we've done a tree here everybody we done did a tree Land it. Landed it. We're good. We're fine. Professional. Professional tree builder in Minecraft, everybody. It's it's all good. Don't you worry about me. If we fall off, we can survive this drop. I'm more worried about skeletons at this point in time because it's very dark. Alright, it's getting way too hot in my office. I need to open my door. One sec. <laughs> It's getting way too hot in here. Essentials. It should be working. I don't know. I'll look at it after. Uh, but if you do exclamation point texture pack, it'll also get you a link to my cursed forge page where I have my main texture pack and you can get a link to it from on there. Um, it's Zach. Thanks so very much for the tier one sub, dude. I appreciate that. Um, Nailed it. Let's go sleep. <laughs> mm. 
live in Indiana, but I'm from Washington State. Dad's from Woodby Island. Oh, very cool. I used to go to Woodby growing up a lot. My mom used to do a bunch of horse shows up there. Mom's from Spokane. Nice, nice, nice. I used to go up to Woodby a lot when I was younger. My mom used to do a bunch of horse shows. My FOV, it's normal. When you're building your big base, I like to build smaller houses that add up to a big base. We'll get to a big base eventually. What am I looking for here? Regular dirt. I need regular dirt. That's for one. And I needed seeds, which I got in my inventory, so that's two. And I needed a hoe. And I don't need the salmon. Are you still playing X Life? Yeah, I upload uh, X Life videos every Saturday. Look at that. That's it's an interesting tree. It's interesting. That's the word to describe it. But it works. I think it's okay. I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to go with something different. I feel like a lot of the trees I build in Minecraft were starting to feel the same. Just a different way of putting the like it was a different combination of the same leaves and the same like it was a different combination of leaves on the same style of tree. Like I was mixing up the wood shape and the tr and the leaf color. But I'm really happy with how these are going. Uh, one jungle. Thanks so very much for the prime sub, dude. I appreciate that. When you give a sub, you pick who it goes to. You can either pick or you can let it be randomized. Whatever you want to do. Do I have, I have a bunch of lanterns back in this thing? We could hang a lantern from that tree your main food in minecraft uh on here i've been moving to the golden carrots because we got villager trading set up so we're good to go on that front let's get those guys and let's get some i should have some spruce fences and i have spruce fence gate we can use that perfect it's gonna be great everybody love from italy hey how's it going what's your opinion on anarchy servers i don't play them i don't like playing minecraft that way I play Minecraft to create things, and if somebody ever comes by and blows up what I created, I'm very upset. <laughs> I get very upset and triggered when like a creeper blows up something that I made, because I'm like, I just spent 40 minutes making that. Why are you coming along and blowing it up? So I don't play on Anarchy servers. You will probably never see me playing on an Anarchy server, unless it's like literally as like a how, unless it's literally a video where I'm intending for my thing to blow up. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing it. How long have you been playing the craft? Dude, I've been playing the craft, I think, for almost, honestly, oh gosh, I don't know. When did, what was it, Minecraft 1.4? What was Minecraft 1.4? The pretty scary update. What was that? That was 2012. What did they add? What update did they add horses? When were horses added to Minecraft? 2013 so i i had like just finished my survival world no because i no, i was before that i think i i think i started in 1.4 what was one what was 1.3 minecraft one point three they added emerald or ender chests and stuff like that Pulling apples got better stuff and adventure mode is added. Yeah, it was probably 1.3 or 1.4, which was like 2012. I think I started in 2012. Let's see, what year was that? Yeah, I was a junior in high school when I started playing and I graduated high school in 2013. So yeah, 2012 would work. Seems about right. Been playing since like 1.1. Nice dude, nice. The foxes are killing the salmon in the river. Yeah, I know the fox. The fox has got, it's the cycle of life, man. The salmon breed and they work their way down the river and then um, the foxes get them. We just don't have brown bears in Minecraft. Will you build a witch hut for brewing? I want to, I think a witch hut would be cool. I almost want to go with like a witch hut or like theme it after like an herbalist hut or something like that. Um, just having more fun with it, like mix it up a bit better, you know? I feel like a witch hut is very normal for people to do and see and kind of that sort of stuff. I want to mix it up a little bit better because I feel like sometimes all like I'm trying to avoid doing like the typical like every Minecraft YouTuber in their survival world builds a witch hut for their brewing stations or they build like this thing for this type of stuff or they do this over here. I'm trying to be very conscious of that 
because I, I want to do some of those because I think they're really cool and I want to build my own rendition of it, but I also want to make sure I'm doing something unique, you know? I don't think I want to do another cave anything. The caves, we, we've done caves. We've done, we've done quite a few caves. <laughs> I do want to, however, get into a dwarven place as we're building the mountains. I think like we're going to finish our village down here, then we're going to move into the mountains full heartedly for a little while. I think I might be making an auto stone farm because I'm not doing all that stuff. So I've kind of mentally decided as I've been blabbing about things is I want to get rid of this tree and I want to build one of the smaller oak trees because I think that'll make the windmill stand out even more than having like one of these tall guys right here. So I think we're going to get rid of this one and get rid of this one and just build one of those oak trees in this area. Do you make a lot of auto farms? I make auto farms when I feel like I'm going to need a lot of a resource. I don't understand the technical side of Minecraft very well. I really, I would not consider myself a redstoner. I want to learn about it. So I'm trying to find excuses to make at least a simple version of an auto farm. And yeah, I think that's kind of what I'm planning to do. Saved a whole $15 when I was 10 to get a Minecraft account because your brother had one. I did the exact same thing. I had one of my best friends in high school. He let me borrow his Minecraft account that his parents bought for him because I didn't have the money to afford one. Um, and my parents wouldn't buy another video game for me because they already bought too many video games for me. Um, and they're like, no, you don't need it. But I was like, I really want to play Minecraft. And so they were like, well, you got to earn it. What are you going to do to earn it? And so I went to all my neighbors and like raked leaves for one of my neighbors, like cleaned out a ditch for another neighbor um and like mowed the lawn for another one and they ended up giving me like 10 15 bucks each and i went back to my parents i was like i've earned enough money to buy minecraft and they're like sweet and then i made like 60 70 bucks off of neighbors doing that stuff and then i went to buy minecraft i was like it was only 15 dollars. i can't believe i spent this much time but like getting stuff to buy minecraft <laughs> i just remember being so sad with myself that i spent so much time like working for my neighbors and doing that sort of stuff and then I was like, I earned like three times as much as I needed to. <laughs> it, was, it was interesting times. Interesting times. Uh, we can do this right here. And then we can do like a boop, boop, boop. But more money for more games. Exactly. That was, that was the secret. That meant I could play WoW for another two months. <laughs> I could play WoW for another few months because I had the savings to pay for it. Extra money never hurts. Yeah, I, uh, me as a kid was all my money either went to Star Wars Legos or video games in some way, shape or form. <laughs> that was um, pretty much you could summarize what I spent my money on as a kid in Star Wars Legos and video games. That's, and I'm, um, I don't know if I'm ashamed to say that it hasn't changed much since. <laughs> Why is that so relatable? <laughs> I loved Star Wars Legos as a kid. I did. I wanted, I like the goal to get every Star Wars Lego ever. Do you get into Bion Bionicles? I like Bionicles. They were cool. They were never like my favorite thing in the world though. Like I was, if I had to pick, it was always like traditional Legos over Bionicles. I was never big into like having a superhero action figure type thing as like a something to have and like hang on to. Like I was never big like superhero kid. How do we do? Do we tree? Did we tree? I think we treed. I'm very much like okay now. I've realized I've changed the way I build trees. A while back, I like never wanted to see the bark of the trees that I make like that. I never wanted to see that. Now I'm just like all about it. I'm like, how can I show like the trunk of the tree? Like I'll, I'm just like, I can't build a tree nowadays unless I'm revealing at least part of the trunk of it. And we're just like, I have to, I have to do it. I think it looks so much better. I have a Star Wars foosball table. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> we had a foosball table growing up. I loved playing foosball as a kid. I, I'm really bad at it now. We had, we had a pool table at my dad's house. He had a, he had a foosball table. And at my mom's house, we had a pool table for a while. 
uh, after my grandparents passed away on my mom's side, uh, they had a pool table that was like made in like the early 1900s that like we inherited and got and put in our back and like put in the or no my uncle got it for a while then he had to he downsized his house so he couldn't keep it anymore so he gave it to us and so we had it and i love playing pool i was i like the one thing i wish i still had the ability to do was like play pool like i really really enjoyed doing that Let's do something like this here. I'm sure we can bring that branch up. It'll be fine. I actually got pretty good at pool. Geometry was always one of my stronger subjects in school. And all playing pool is is just geometry. If you can if you can do like geometry on the fly and like just kind of recognize angles and things like that, and you have a good pool table. A lot of time people suck at pool because the pool table they're playing on is actually really bad and the bumpers are just destroyed. So you don't get bounces in the right ways where you should get a bounce. But if you have like a good pool table that's done well and like is still in good quality and everything and the bumpers are like new, you can, I like guess just straight up like you just have to know the angle that pops off <laughs> from where you did whatever. Like wherever your shot is. I, I really liked pool for a long time. I played a bunch. In high school, it was basically if I was like a lot of times my friends would just come over and we would just go into the pool room in our house and just play pool for like six seven hours like that was that was like how we would spend like a high like afternoon on like a saturday or something during high school how do you do how do you geometry i need help <laughs> break it up into different shapes if you don't what i what always helped me with geometry was i learned triangles i for me in geometry you all you need to know is triangles and you need to know your circles that's it if you know how to do a triangle, you know how to do a circle, and you know how to calculate those, that's all you need to do. Everything that you're doing, you can break into those shapes. Everything is either made up of triangles or circles in geometry. And all you need to know is how to do those. And after that, if you know how to put those together well enough, you can do anything in geometry. Firm believer in that one. Yeah, triangles are more than half of geometry. I feel like since we got rid of those big trees right there, this is like a big open bear spot. So I'm thinking we might have to do another one of these big things. Hi, hi, River Fox. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? You look at the berry in your mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh my god. Oh yes, yes, I know. We're just bobbing our head underwater. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Are you stuck in there? You're just stuck on everything. Yep. Now you're out. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, now you want to go back in. Just the cutest little foxy. Look at the little toe beans. Okay, you can you just keep running. But do that thing. Okay, goodbye. Enjoy your berry, okay? Enjoy the berry. Enjoy the berries. Yep, you just enjoy your berry over there. All right, goodbye. You yeah, have a good, good time. Have a good day. Do that. Do that. Uh, I need to get more dark oak fences on me. I'm all but positive I failed my recent Algebra 2 test. Oh, no, bugaboo. No. But you got to get it next time. That's all you can hope for, right? I think I need more than that. That should be good. It's 2020 math tests only matter so much. <laughs> yeah just this year of school just do as much as you can folks just get through it but if you're struggling this year due to school and you're feeling like extra anxious on top of everything it's okay it's totally reasonable to be a little freaked out with everything that's happened this year it is 100 percent okay to not be acing every single thing that you're doing still try still try your best but if you struggle a little bit this year because maybe there's a few things happening in the world it's okay. You're doing fine. You're doing totally fine. So I, I don't even, I couldn't even imagine moving like high school or everything like that into just like a, a full online thing. Like a man, 
I can't even imagine what you guys are going through. The two online classes I took in my entire time in college were my least favorite classes the entire time. Everybody always says online school is like easy and a joke. No, I hated all of it. It was terrible. It's not a White Claw, folks. It's a Celsius. If I was drinking White Claws over here, this would be a much different stream right now. <laughs> That's when you'd be getting the real tea. Also, can we just say how much better this looks? What? We built custom, we changed that to a custom tree right there. I think that it's not my best. I think there's a little too much air in that section. There's a little, it's a little bare right over here. It's okay. It's okay. Not my best, but it's okay. And like that right there, we got the little tree right I love this, but I think we need a big guy. We need another big guy right over there. That's gonna be the way we can rock this area. How many spruce leaves do I have? Do I have enough? I got, uh, let's get another stack. I like that I don't have to go to class and I can sit in bed, but the other than that, it sucks. Dude, totally. I, I hated my online classes because how much more the teachers like gave busy work. I don't know if this is happening to people in like the online schools nowadays, but I felt like with all my online classes I took, because I couldn't physically be in the classroom, the teachers instead were like, all right, how much can I just give them busy work so that I know that they're still doing their hours? which was, was just stupid. It was so annoying. Uh, I did go to college. I graduated with a degree in business management with like a human resources focus. I know super like, like big flaunty thing, basically saying I learned about laws of how to not screw over your employees. And then I also had a degree in computer science. Yeah, I like, I, I don't think for me, like I always love the idea of online classes and things like that. I don't think I could do well in like the current year of school. So if y'all are struggling, like I said, it's okay. Just keep doing what you're doing and just work your way through it. That's all we can hope for. I feel like this is gonna be very lopsided if I go like that. We'll have to do some birch down there. Online, offline school sucks. Yeah, I'm sure. My one college teacher that only does exams in person made us do seven essays already instead. Oh, gross, that's awful. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> hey, welcome in, M. Jones, how's it going? How are you? I'm doing good. Trees again. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta finish off our little scene that we're on here. We're trying to perfect the windmill. Today is about perfecting the view from our house to the windmill okay that's all today's stream is about and dang it we are about to pull it off this is gonna be rocking it right here this is the last thing we gotta do hopefully this tree then we can decorate this little area out here a little bit better and it's gonna be killing it that's all i'm saying it's gonna be fantastic i think we're gonna bring in some more sugar cane stuff around there bring in some string to top them off we can bring a few little crappie crops up there it's gonna Careful with spoilers, it's all good. I've committed since I'm since I'm traveling. I, I For everybody who's been in the streams for the last few weeks, you've been getting spoilers constantly. They're exclusive previews. I have pre-recorded videos through next Tuesday on this series. You want some spoilers? Everything over there is spoilers. <laughs> we, like Friday's stream, we spent the entire time building up a gold farm in the end which is purely a video that I'm doing for later this week about how I built the gold farm and how I, or sorry, the nether, not the end. Haven't went to the end yet, but I'm doing a whole video on building a nether hub and everything. And we basically just were hanging out in it the entire stream on Friday. <laughs> but then you get to see how I did it, which I think is cool. And all I got to say is that little guy, look at this. We're zooming in super, super zoom. That little guy right there is a chicken coop that I am the most proud I've ever been of building a chicken coop in Minecraft. All I'm saying, you all gotta wait till that video comes out to watch how I built the chicken coop, but it's good. It is a good chicken coop. All I'm saying is these chickens are gonna love their life in there. <laughs> it's great, it's perfect. Here there be spoilers and pirates. Hopefully not pirates. Chickens should die since Jeremyism. You know what? I created chicken coops so that the foxes couldn't get to them. That's all I'm saying. 
I'm happy after this one, though. I get to go breed up all my animals. I've been trying to build up my stores of animals and everything. So that coop is for the birds. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let's let's start topping this tree off right here. I think this would be a good height for us. We do another one right over here. Like this. Brother is also in high school. A junior and says it's easy to get some... Uh, what? Um, can we see code before you go today? I'll I'll go bug him. See if we can get him on. I know it's been it's been a weird stream, and it's gonna be the last one for a little while. So if I have to bug Coda to get him on the stream for a bit, I think I can make that happen. I feel like I need like one like right there. Right like yeah, we can do that. That's fine. That's okay. Okay, uh, do something like this, and then here, two, three, and we're a little bit shorter than that one, so that's sweet, perfect. This is my first stream of yours. What's up, Ivy? How you doing? Excited for your trips coming up? Yeah, I'm so pumped to go. We're just going to hang with some friends on Wednesday, and then their, their wedding is this Friday, so that'll be awesome. Get to go celebrate them for a few days, which would be super cool. And then I'm back for a week. And then after that, my butt is going to be sitting in the sand on a beach. And I'm so excited. Y'all have no idea. I am I know it's been like a weird year. And I like it's it's one of those things that's just like. My girlfriend and I have been talking about a lot where it's just like traveling during COVID is something that we are very privileged to be able to do. Because obviously there's a lot of bad things happening in the world and like. It's all that, but it's like one of those things of just like, I'm so thankful to be able to just get away for a week and just not be in my office in this chair for a week. And I'm so excited to be able to do that and just get out of here for a week. So we're trying to make sure we're being very safe about it. We've already got like COVID tests scheduled and everything like that. We did one on Saturday so that we know we're safe going to the wedding this week because there's going to be a lot of older family members of the the bride and groom there so we want to make sure we're being safe for them and everything like that and i'm just like very thankful for the opportunities that we have to be able to get away for a little while and just kind of relax for a bit so it's awesome uh maddie i'm gonna go ahead and just delete that one we're just not talking politics today oh that's the wrong thing um didn't mean to permit you there <laughs> uh so yeah so i'm excited to go celebrate some friends this week it'll be really cool get out of here for a little while i've been working towards being ready to take a break for a bit of like pre-recording things. As you can know, um, I've already pre-recorded videos for the series through next Tuesday. <laughs> um, episode 10. Episode 10 is ready to go for this series, which is crazy. And if everything works out well, next Thursday, my friends, next Thursday, so not, not three days from now, but next Thursday is going to be oh, the dragon fight. We're gonna hope, we're gonna fight the dragon uh, early next week, and the video will be out next Thursday. We're trying to get everybody on hashtag not an SMP to do it, uh, and see if we can get everybody out there and hang out, get the whole group together for once, and do the big dragon kill, and hopefully we all survive. <laughs> That's kind of the goal of it, and I I'm excited for it. I'm excited to get out there. I'm excited to get the end done. So I can have all that stuff taken care of and everything there. And I can start doing some bigger builds because we'll have an Elytra. So we can start building taller without risk of falling and dying. And it'll be great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it a lot. So I think it'd be really fun. Okay. So we're going to try and detail like here down. I think that's the goal. That's the goal for the next little bit. Any tips? Any tips for what? Can't find motivation to play. Uh, you just got to find when you enjoy Minecraft. If you don't enjoy Minecraft at all right now, you can't find something that plays, take a break. Take a break. Uh, we're being very careful for the wedding. Like we have, throughout the whole ceremony, like everybody has like masks and things like that that they're going. Like the the wedding couple, they got um, like special masks, like printed masks and things like that for the whole bridal party. So we're going to have cool stuff like that on there which would be kind of fun different things going on uh but we're being as safe as we can it's your birthday tomorrow hey happy birthday dude 
Happy early birthday, yo yo. I I'm excited for it. We'll, we're being as safe as we can. The people, everybody that we know that's going there is also being as equally aware of everything as we are, which is good. So I'm not super worried about it, but we're still gonna be safe. Erring on the side of caution, just for caution's sake, you know. It would hate. It would suck to do that, then come home and test positive and not be able to go to Hawaii. That's all I'm saying. That would be a big bummer. So being very cautious. <laughs> What's your streaming schedule? Um, it's supposed to be Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. This week, I'm only streaming today. We'll be doing normal streams next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then the week after that, I'm not streaming at all because I'm going to be in Hawaii. Should I eat candy or chocolate? I think both things sound like candy, so you can't go wrong. I'm going to use the chat to advertise. If you do that, you are going to ban. How deadly, in your opinion, is COVID? It is extremely serious. And... In the U.S. alone, hundreds of thousands of people have died from it. And everybody who doesn't take it seriously and thinks it's a joke, I think is just immature and being stupid about it. I will wholeheartedly die on that hill. If that kills my channel to say that, I will die on that hill happily. <laughs> if you don't take it seriously and you just think it's a joke or it's a sham, feel free to just leave the chat. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I don't want to talk about it too much today, but it's very serious and it's something that has affected hundreds of thousands of lives even more than just the people who have died from it like there's a lot of people have been extremely affected by it and if people are out there toting around saying it doesn't exist or anything like that they're just dumb <laughs> i don't know how else to say it they're just dumb <laughs> they don't have the ability to um reason <laughs> with it all like i i just the the current climate around that type of stuff just annoys the heck out of me it's so I, I, the fact that a pandemic has turned into like a political issue is beyond stupid in my opinion. Like people are out there dying every single day. Like my, um, my stepmom, she's an emergency room doctor and like works in a trauma hospital around the Seattle area and like has to deal with it every day and, and day out. And like the fact that like it's still going on as crazy as it is. And like I hear about the stories from her about like everybody who's affected by it. So like I know firsthand about a lot of the stuff that's like happening around it just through talking to her about all of it. And it's it's really dumb. <laughs> like how many people just think it's stupid and pointless when like I hear those things, I'm just like, it's not. It's not at all stupid. It's not at all pointless. But that's my politics for the day. Even though that shouldn't be politics, that's just life. Ugh. Are you adopted? I am not adopted. My um, da, 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 da. my parents uh, split when I was younger, and then my dad got remarried. So that's that's where the stepmom comes in play. Very nice lady, great person. Is mossy cobble able to be crafted? Uh, you can craft it with vines. Vines and cobblestone can make you co mossy cobblestone. Need more pebbles? Yeah, we could do a little bit of rocks around here, something like that. We could do some of those. I'm thinking just a few more little sea pickly guys. Do like a doot and a doot and a doot, and we could like turn this into a little little seedy place over here. Do like some of that, so it can connect in there. Uh, and we're just gonna hose some of these down so they're no longer coarse dirt. Just get some regular dirt up in here retexturize the area and then uh, I put my buckets away I was gonna get some buckets and put some sugar cane up there string on it uh, Mad Libs thanks so much for the three month resub I really appreciate that yeah no politics it's a pandemic <laughs> yeah a pandemic should not be politics it's as simple as that if it becomes a political issue usually the people that are trying to make COVID a political issue are the people who are not thinking it's a real thing and so they're just dumb <laughs> Was the glass thing under the water there? It's an it's a tunnel for moving villagers around this side. So we have a bunch of farmer villagers in that building over there. So we make this entire thing through here to be able to get across. How long are you going to stream today? Uh, probably going to finish this area and then I got to dip out of here. I got so much stuff to do, folks. It's insane. But I want to be able to get everything done before I leave, um, which I'm really hoping to do. Let's do one like right there. We can do like a, a two tall one right down in here. 
make that they'll grow up to be a three tall one have a little one tall guy right in there and then we can do that other water bit right over here Cool, 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 cool. Uh, fan of your channel, I was wondering if you give any tips on how to build builder. I got a few videos on it, yep. Uh, like building tips that I've done in the past, you can do that. I'm also gonna do a video here in the next week or two that's going to be how I build in Minecraft. Uh, that if you wanna watch that, go for it. it. I mean, it'll be out soon. So it'll be on my YouTube channel in the next few weeks. I'm still working on it. It'll be one for when I'm out of town, but yeah. If you want to learn more about how I build things, it'll be in that whole video. All right, I know we're talking about the COVID stuff and I was talking about it a lot, but please don't get too political on it. We don't need to, the last thing I will say on it, the last thing I will say, and then we are done on the discussion after that is that like, if you put like, without, with, urge like we're, it's a little political here but the it's a little political but you know it's the elections in a few days so it's fine but if you put an economic value on the life of people like you're like oh my gosh the economy is hurting due to covid that's fair but also 260,000 people have died that's not an okay thing to say it's like oh my god the economy's hurting so bad has your paycheck changed that you're taking home there's a lot of people who have been negatively affected by it due to the shutdown. That's for sure. But like, would you rather be paid a little bit less or would you rather risk the chance of dying? That's, that's it. Like there's so many hundreds of thousands of people who have died around the world. In the US alone, we've had what, 270,000 deaths or something like that. Way more than that now, probably after October. That was an, that's an old stat that I'm saying. It's like, how many people have died just for your like, just for your economy to stay good and especially when you look at like the u.s economy it's like have maybe the economy did really well over the last few years but like have you at all received any benefit from the economy doing so well has your paycheck gone up anything like you've done gone up i don't know man i personally never saw a paycheck increase when the economy was doing so perfectly well as everybody called it so i know that got a little political there but that's it that's it from me <laughs> that's my two cents um and that's all i'm gonna say is just be on the side of keeping people safe and keeping people alive i would rather always have the people who i love around me being healthy and alive than my country's economy doing okay that's all i'm saying so but i know like the uk and a lot of europe's going back into um like lockdown right now which i'm like really kind of jealous of <laughs> i wish the us was doing that but that won't happen with the elect with current polit politics <laughs> change the topic what are the chances of you make an option for an eight hour stream with the code of cash when you get back i might do one of those community buy-ins where we can like a bunch of people can commit like like as a group you all can pay with code of cash together to get like if a certain amount of people ship in code of cash and things like that it can unlock one so i might do something like that for a i might do that to like do another subathon in like november but november is so busy because like i'm gone at the end of this week i'm back next week then i'm gone the week after so that's three weeks in november and then after that i'm back in town but that week's thanksgiving here in the u.s and so the second after that week is shot not gonna do anything there and then it's december <laughs> like November is basically gone. <laughs> I'm, I am, uh, there's not much I could do in November right now for big content wise. Like, I don't think I have the ability to do a, um, like an eight hour stream or anything like that. I just, I don't think I have the ability to do it. Maybe December, depending how things are going in December. I might do like when you, everybody gets on Christmas break or something like that. We can get like the eight hour stream scheduled and do like kind of a celebration with everybody's back at home and doing their things and the families are home. Cause I mean, Christmas break is going to come around this year and it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird because everything's still not going to be super safe to go walk around and things like that. So if I can like give a little bit of more entertainment when people are just like chilling at home cold and not with anywhere else to go, 
Um, <laughs> yeah, the end of the year is going to be crazy. I think 2021 is going to come super fast. But it'll be, it'll be an interesting one. Okay, so there we go. We did it. Is that, is that looking fancy schmancy over here? Hi, little fox. Did, did I build good? Oh, he's running away. I don't need to fix it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look, oh, we did it, everybody. Shout out, please. No. Go earn your own stuff. Can you continue the single player survival series that made my day? Um, we'll get back to it here soon. Probably after I'm back in town, we'll start relooking at it and everything like that. But right now, I just don't. I don't have time. I straight up don't have time. Why do foxes specifically get stuck in boats? Any mob that walks near a boat can get put into it. Um, so that's it. I don't typically de decorate for the holidays. I might do it for like a Christmas little gag on this world if we do it. But I always, the thing is, I don't like decorating because then I have to come back and clean it up. <laughs> so I almost like just making like a holiday village. We might make like a holiday ski village up in the mountains up here. That could be kind of fun. I know Pixel Rifts did that last year and I thought it was a great idea. So I might honestly do something like that. Look at this though. I'm I'm digging this. Let's, I want to turn on the shaders. I want to turn on the shaders again. Do we ever make texture pack on Bedrock? Probably not. I don't play on Bedrock. So I don't really do that. What about you? We'll make it a holiday village, Maddie. It won't be a specifically a Christmas village. That's just, that's the one that pops in the head for me because that's always what I celebrate. I'm not trying to exclude anybody. It's just what's ingrained into my brain, I guess we could say. Look at that though. Oh, that's so nice. Do you ski? I grew up skiing and I grew up snowboarding. I haven't done either for probably a decade. <laughs> so I, I've i wanted to get back into it, but it's also it's so expensive to get into skiing or snowboarding when you have no gear. When you have the gear, it's easier because all you have to buy is a lift paths, but I have no gear at all. <laughs> so it'd be like a grand to get back into it to see if I enjoy it again. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here for that. This is looking pretty sweet though. Look at all this stuff down here. Everything like that. I think I'm gonna grab a screenshot for that. Oh, no. I, I'm getting rid of this tree. I don't care. I don't care. We're getting get out of here. This stupid, stupid tree. I will put another tree in place of this one. But for now, you need to go. Make a giant custom Christmas tree and put presents under it. Sausage and I did that on X Life. Or not X Life, sorry. Um, source Block. Does that, anybody here remember Source Block? That was this time last year. Isn't that crazy? Um, we did that on Source Block, and it took us like eight hours to make this dang Christmas tree, and it was so not worth it. <laughs> it was so not worth the time investment to make that dang tree. <laughs> How long has it been since you started this world? We started this one about three weeks ago. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, I like this a lot. Dang, that's looking good. Dang, that's a good windmill. Uh, how many subs have I gained since this time last year? This time last year, I was at 120,000 subscribers on YouTube. As a Dutchie, I'm proud of the windmill. <laughs> I'm glad I have the approval of the Dutch for a windmill. <laughs> yeah, my YouTube... Uh, I was at 120, 130,000 this time last year. And honestly, we might, I haven't looked today. Let me pull it up right now. We are at 369,931 subscribers. We are 69 subscribers away from 370,000 subscribers on YouTube. Just, you know, throwing that number out there. If anyone wants to go subscribe on the YouTubes. We're less than 70 away from 370,000 on YouTube. And then we've got then 30,000 left to go. We got two months. We got two months to go. We got 30,000 subs. I want to try and hit 400,000 by the end. By the end of 2020, I want to try and get that 400,000 subs. I think it'd be great. So I'm going to try and if there's a few extra things in videos where I'm just like, hey, make sure you subscribe and things like that. I'm sorry. I'm really not sorry. I want to hit that milestone. You're a ski racer. Very cool, dude. Very cool. All right, folks. I think, unfortunately, that's all I got time for for today's stream. I know it's only been two hours, two hours, two and a half hours here. 
but I am way out of time. I've got a lot of stuff I gotta do. I got videos I gotta finish up. I got everything going on here. But I really appreciate just watching do daylight savings. We did it uh, yesterday. Yesterday was daylight savings. Um, I really appreciate y'all hanging out here with me today. Thank y'all so very much for stopping by. This is the last stream of today. There's gonna be videos throughout the whole week, so you guys can get on those and hang out with and watching all that stuff. So I really appreciate it. Uh, let me go see if I can get Coda. I promised that we would bring the doggo on. Let me go bother him. I'll go get some treats. everybody i put on real pants today i would just like to say that i'm wearing real pants for today's stream look at this am i still wearing slippers you betcha but i got real pants on hi buddy you need a shake oh come on put her there put her there other one oh boy oh thank you oh yes oh yes get cutie yeah just enjoy chewing you missed you missed this section there you go very good he likes to chew his treats. He just likes to hang out and chew them. Maybe you want more? Turn. Turn. No. Turn. No, that's down. That's not quite it. That's good down, though. That's a good job laying down. Hey, little buddy. Little buddy. Can you do it? Turn. No, okay. Turn. There we go. That's what we wanted originally. He loves to just chill and like chew on his tr treats. He just wants to. He just wants to enjoy them. Can you sit down. Sit. I know you're so cute. I know you're the best ever. Did you know that? Do you know you're the best dog ever? The best, literally the best one ever. Do you think you've earned that title? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think you've earned that? I think you've earned it. You like that? Sit. <laughs> His little sit. He's got such a good little sit too. He's just like, he's just so cute. You just, you know, can you, can you sit? Can you lay down? I know. Down. All the way down. Oh, good boy. Let me get the chair out of the way a little bit better. Look at the little, look at your butt. You just the cutest butt. I know. Hi. Can you roll over? No. That, no, that's turning. Sit down. Down. All the way down. You roll over. You used to know this. You used to know this. He act. He knows it. He just actively does not want to do it. Everybody. You're doing good. That's really cute. That's really cute. That's why he doesn't do it. That's why he doesn't do it. Because <laughs> we just give you treats for just sitting here, even though we ask you to do things. Yeah, we do that. Uh huh. One hundred percent. Do we want to try this again? Roll over. No. No. Come on. Sit. Get sit. And down. No, down. Down. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Up against it. Can you do it around your head? Around your head? Roll over. <laughs> I know your, your brain is thinking. Your brain is thinking so much. You want the treat. You want to roll over for the treat. He's trying to get his head on the chair. Whoa. We can roll this way. He doesn't roll that way. He doesn't roll that Nobody way. Nobody rolls one way. Okay, up. That's down. That's that's quite opposite of up. That's a good idea. Can we roll it? Roll over? Oh, you're doing it. You're so close. Come on, roll over. He's like, I started. Is that not enough? No. No. You sit down. Sit down. And down. No, down. It's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, give me the dang tree. <laughs> roll over. Yes, yes, oh. yes. Oh, the oh, my day! Oh, you're so good. Oh, you're so good. Oh, you're so 
good. It took a while, but we got there. Good boy. That was the last treat I had. I'm sorry. That I know that was not a big finish for you, but you did a great job. <laughs> the best boy. You good jobs. You did a good job. Good boy. I know you're the best. <laughs> I know the <you're> cutie. <laughs> Twenty years later. <laughs> Twenty years later. Hey, you know what? He did it. He did it. He still did it. I know. This is the court. Yeah, I know. Big day. You're you lucky. Choose a public ride to <laughs> Sit down. I, I'm sorry. I don't have treats. I can't ask you for things. I know how you work. There, if there's no transaction going both ways, you're not interested. <laughs> good, good, good boy. Good boy. Is he sleeping? Yeah, he was on the bed. <laughs> what a wake up. What a wake up to all these treats. Pog. Pog. What does that mean? Like a genius? You see like that face? Oh. That that's like, oh my god. That's okay. basically it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's Twitch it's Twitch speak speak for like, oh my god, best thing ever. Oh, like yeah. like that juice. Or yeah, like Pog juice. Pog yeah. juice. The passion orange Java juice. That's really what Twitch chat's just super excited about. I get it. <laughs> Yeah, he's done. Coda just left everybody. He Bye. just got out of here. <laughs> he's just like, and I'm out of here. All right, we're going to peace out today. Okay. Uh, all right, folks. We did uh, we did the Twitch streaming today. We did the thing. Let's go ahead and raid. You know what? Somebody we haven't raided for a long time. The Hot Dish. She's, she's live today working on some stuff. Uh, I will say not the most... Not always family friendly, very wholesome place to hang out. But if you're worried about language stuff, you've been warned. Uh, we're going to raid the hot dish here today and I'm typing in the wrong chat. That'd be awkward to put that message in there first. Uh, but please join on the raid if you can, folks. We very much appreciate it. Follow my stream if you haven't. Uh, this is the last stream for me right now. We'll be live again next week. Going out of town Wednesday. Videos will be up Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then through next Tuesday. Actually, I'm all done on all those. But thanks everybody for joining in today. Y'all are amazing people. I'm out of here. Peace out. Goodbye.